Well, hi everybody. Good morning. Happy New Year's. Happy New Year Day, everybody. It is January 1st, 2023, and Orson had agreed to game for me today. Like, he had agreed, like, we had this scheduled that he was going to actually play the games. It was just like a new thing we were going to try for 2023. Like, you know, like, he plays the games, and I, you know, and then I just sleep there uh, on, on the Orsi Vision. It was going to be called <laughs> Jesse Vision. <laughs> not really. No, it's not. Um, but then, <sighs> listen, okay, you're probably like, wait, have you been playing the game? N no, but something happened, and it was Orson's fault, and it was all because of this scheduling thing. So we're not, so we're going to cancel that, and plus he just wants to fetch right now, okay? So that's what we're going to do. Um, but boy, we are starting off New Year's with uh, with a bang, as they say, because this is what happened. I <laughs> was taking the picture with Orson because he'd agreed to play the games, and I had the little headphones on him, and and I'm sitting here and I'm helping him, and he was doing great. Obviously, you know the man is a professional. This boy knows what he's doing. Okay, and everything was fine. But I had because I was setting up the stream, I had opened the game I'm playing, Dwarf Fortress, um, to because I always want to make sure like it's working, it's capturing correctly, and and all of that stuff. So I I did that. I thought I had paused it, and I had not. Um, and then we're, we're taking, uh, we're taking the picture, right? Taking the picture, taking the picture, does great. He gets down. I go to set up the picture, like, to start the stream, um, because I needed to start the stream. Um, and, you know, and I had to do it on time today because thanks to RJ City and his Sunday morning stream, he was able to redirect his audience here, which uh, is clearly ha has happened uh, based on the number of people that are here immediately. So I had to start right away. Um, <laughs> and turns out in the game, they uh, that a vile force of darkness has arrived. Now, here's the thing. I have the save, I think, and I, I could go back. I could go back and just start where I was supposed to start, where I thought I had paused in the first place, and and do that. I don't know if this event will happen again. Um, it might. I don't know. It had literally, it literally was like maybe running for two minutes, so it happened almost immediately. I knew this fort was a short timer, also. Um, but I don't know if I want to. I think I want to play it out. Because this all happened because this boy, this boy right here that has not let go of this ball, uh, wanted, wanted to play some video games, right? It's all because, it's all because we wanted to try something new, okay? We were trying new things and, and this is what happened. Can I have, oh, thank you. We're going to fetch it now. Um, so apparently... As I was saying, the vile v force of darkness has arrived. I guess, sorry, Orson's not going to play games, though. He's just going to fetch, probably. And then probably fall asleep down here, like he always does. And then I'm going to continue my streak in gaming of never dying and beating every boss on the first try. So, uh, you know, I would like to thank everybody. For joining me on New Year's Day, it's gonna it's gonna be a good one. All right. Oh, and I got coffee. Look at this, guys. So yeah, I did. Um, or I do rather really appreciate you guys. Oh, you were here right away. What up? I'm gonna say hi to, hi to everybody in the chat. Was RJ here? Did he pop in too? Probably. Let's start at the beginning. Big Daz, Happy New Year. Thank you, Big Daz. I appreciate that. And Sussy, good morning. Happy New Year. You knew it. Orsi is a gamer. Orsi is a gamer. I've said that. Everyone's a gamer. All right. But it's just, it's just a matter of what kind of games uh, 
are you into? What kind of games are your games? And with Orsi, I think he's still discovering it. You know, he's pretty young, so he's got plenty of time. Maybe VR. I think I'd see Orsi being like a pioneer in VR gaming. Now that, that's money for sure. I need to remember that, right? Much like Logan, right? This younger generation, they're just like, it's crazy to me actually to think about being seven, six or seven years old. Um, and actually, Logan's been playing with VR since he was like four. I, lit I have video of him maybe even younger than that. No, I think four. Pretty young though. Playing on my original Oculus headset because I would bring it and be like, you got to play this. Like just putting it on a, like their head and then watching him figure it out. Stuff that took me so long to figure out. He was doing like almost instantly and it's just amazing to watch i'm like god i thought listen when we got the upgrade from like super nintendo to the N nintendo 64 like i was in the future i'm like this is it i'm in the future so i can't imagine vr so yeah maybe we should try that there we go um so thank you all for being here jay good morning happy new year happy new year happy new year i'll say it a million times it is New Year's Day, um, and I just want to give an all-encompassing Happy New Year to everyone. So thanks, so that we're covered, right? Because otherwise you're just going to say it nonstop. I do love when you text, like, the you just say Happy New Year and it, like, shoots off the fireworks. It's, kinda, it's, kinda, it's like when a happy birthday, right? That was fun. Those were a few fun text messages to open up. I enjoyed that. Queens and Ty5, hello, how are you? Thank you for being here. Mod Squad starting off. We gotta get a drone. We need it. I want uh, actually the drone gang emote to be first. First on, first on the order of things for 2023 is getting a, a drone gang emote. And I just love the idea of my mods being like. I mean, we we all know Ty 5s a bot, right? But it's really like. All the mods, all the mod, their drone gang. It would make perfect sense for them to be like, and like they just, I love it, I love it. And when a gang of drones rolls up on you, that's scary. Okay, it's very intimidating. They don't have, they don't have to be like, it doesn't have to be a huge thing to be scary and intimidating, right? A gang of drones would be terrifying, I think. Nothing starts a game better than a message of a vile force of darkness has arrived. I know, Major FOMO, I know. That's why I was like, I'm, listen, I didn't want this, okay? I didn't want this, but this is what I was given. And I'm pretty sure something would happen again almost immediately if I went back in the save, right? I'm pretty sure, but I don't know that it would be this. And I kind of... It says Siege up here in the top. So I'm thinking this is probably the end, okay? Um, for the dwarves, not for me. Because I've, I, like, I've never died in a video game. Yet. It's the longest streak. It's the longest streak in gaming. It's like a thing. Um, but now for the dwarves, it's a different story. It's probably not, it's probably not gonna be good. Um, and I just wanted to play it out, all right? Hey, we got members. I love membership announcements. First thing. Dang, 31 months? And well, hi, RJ City. That is a long time. That is a long time. I actually can't believe I have been on YouTube. I've been saying that ever since it hit 30, I've been like, that's a lot of months, you know, that I've been, uh, that I've been streaming on YouTube. Uh, I would say relatively consistently. Um, and I'm, I'm very, I'm very proud of that. So thank you all for being here on the journey. It is really been a good time. I'm glad that I made the move to YouTube and I'm glad that so many people have decided to support because it has been uh, quite the journey. And uh, of course, yes, Orsi is the star. These are, this is the way of things. Oh no, Sussy, you said Sandy almost died from fear. Was it because of fireworks? Oh, that's awful. You know, they were not... No one really did fireworks here. Uh, thank goodness. Thank God. Oh, Jesus. I just saw a red thing pop up. Okay. That's a lot. Um, I want to thank, first of all, so I don't miss them. I want to say hello to Michael, because I know you don't pop in that often. 
but I know you watch, I know you support, so thank you. I hope you're having a, a wonderful first day of 2023. Thank you, Michael. And also, Queen's Army, woo, with the pro gamer status for 31 months. Thank you, Queens. Thank you so much. Um, thank you for being a mod and a wonderful part of the community. It would not be the same without you here. Logan is a future programmer. He really is. I, I, I think that's obvious to anyone that watches him. So you guys should go watch the videos with uh, Logan. I have a whole playlist called Gaming with Logan. And all the videos are starring Logan. And some of them are just starring him. Like, he had an idea. He wanted to make one. And I just facilitate. I just made. I just helped him with the technical aspects of things. But everything else was his. Whoa. Where'd it go? No, no. I accidentally clicked off. There's not what we need. Oh, man. What? Nope. Now it's gone. I have to... J hold on. I'm just going to scroll down. I'm just going to scroll down. Christine also became a member. Thank you, Christine. I'm very excited to have new uh, people joining the channel, especially starting off the year. That's always a good sign. I'm sure Ty5 will want to know, uh, which I do as well, but she's the bot and she likes having the job to do it. It makes her happy, right? The purpose of all of that. She has to ask, uh, what made you hit the join button? And then I get some really good user feedback. And it's just this its just this whole little ecosystem that works really well. And now you're a part of it. A good ecosystem's a good word, right? A lagoon definitely has an ecosystem for sure, but a good one. We gotta have Drone Gang, Hello, uh, Diabetes, and Steve, who has arrived. And now I've gotten down to Dan Lee, who has decided to start off 2023 with uh, something tremendous and exceptional. And last time he did this, Shana sang a song about him. And I don't remember how it went exactly. Because Shayna has this really, for someone that can, you know, actually play musical instruments and is actually quite musical, has this way of singing that's not singing. And it was like more of like a chant, if I recall. And I'm going to try and do it in honor of Dan Lee. But uh, that is insane. And I love, you know, that... But that's it. You just were like, Happy New Year. Here you go. There's a little fireworks in there. Those are the only fireworks we like because they don't frighten dogs. Uh, but it goes something like, uh, Dan Lee, Dan Lee. He's really nice and friendly. Uh, what did she say? Uh, he. <laughs> Dan Lee. That was something uh, to the effect of the Dan Lee song. Uh, but. Thank you, Dan Lee. He's a man of many talents and great generosity. <laughs> and I appreciate you, my friend. So, yep, everyone's praising the sun. There we go. I shall as well. Oh, oh my God. I'm wearing my new favorite outfit, guys. My new favorite fit. I need to get my... Hold on. I screwed up my cameras and my thing, and all I have is the chat. But I had to sing the Dan Lee song, so give me a second. Dan Lee, Dan Lee. You just have to rhyme something with Lee, which is not terribly hard to do. Don't need that. And Ty Five wanted to join as well. Ty Five, thank you so much. Now that I'm, I have to. I had to fix all my stuff, but didn't want to miss your message. Can't wait to see what awesome things happen in 2023, both with the stream and in life. It's true. It's true. There is something. Uh, nice about the freshness of a new year and, and really it's just another day but there's but it does feel different and motivates you and makes you just want to I don't know do better right like 
I have planners that I never wrote a single thing in. And I'm like, that was dumb. Like, why, why, why didn't I do that? I really should have done that. I would probably be more productive. And it's not to say that you aren't productive or that you don't do good things or that you don't do good work. Um, because that may be true, but I do think if you're honest with yourself, it's like, but could I have done better? You know, like, or was it a choice? And something about the new year just makes you want to make better choices, right? And there's so much stuff with my own life that it's like, oh my god, that I if I could if I could tighten that up, optimize that, listen, it'd be serious. So, and now I hear security dogs going off. To count this also as a song emote, that's pretty uh, accurate, actually. Sussy. Listen, if I'm gonna do it, you commit to it. All right. I have found that out about like if you are gonna sing something or um, project your voice in any way, it's better if you commit to it. I think I surprise people sometimes because I don't. I'm like I don't really do things like that, but I can. I can be incredibly loud like incredibly loud if I want to be and I do think that catches people off guard my voice and it always showed if I was ever in someone's corner or coaching them my it's like I I can be so loud which is not always necessarily a good thing right because then they can hear everything you're saying but also so 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 can your fighter so there's benefits to that um but I definitely know that some people have been like Jesus I didn't realize like and I like I taught uh, kickboxing classes and uh, and other stuff. And when you're teaching a, a like a, a kickboxing class, um, and not like a cardio kickboxing class necessarily, but kind of, kind of like I always said, it was like you took if you take Muay Thai kickboxing and just did a cardio workout of it, like it's basically the same thing. Um, and you got music cranked up, and you're you're like trying to tell them over the sound of the music and over everyone yeah, yeah, yeah punching and kicking and pads slamming you really got to speak up to be heard over that and i i think it helped me a lot like a lot a lot and i have noticed sometimes i do it first of all even when i stream i speak a lot louder and more clearly than i would because i'm you know listen anybody in the house will be able to hear me especially and i forget that because i like i'll scream or something or laugh really loudly, or whatever. Just just being loud, especially like when gaming with the BRE, and you know later my sister will be like, "What happened?" And I'm like, "Huh?" Like I don't even I didn't even I didn't even think about it. And I'm like, "Oh my god, I forget that they can hear me when I'm really obnoxiously loud." So yeah. So in uh, in the short answer, Sussy, yes, great uh, choice also singing <laughs> what up Carlos Steve thank you happy new year your game of the year from 2022 was God of War Ooh, yeah but also there was Elden Ring right don't get me wrong God of War was amazing amazing but something about the way I felt when I played Elden Ring it I did not experience it to the same degree with God of War. It was just different. It's a completely different experience. But I, I do feel like as a game, perhaps Elden Ring was I don't know. I don't want to say it's not about being bigger. It was like more encompassing, maybe. Just such an such a special game. But then again, so was God of War. And anybody that has been watching my channel recently will have seen the God of War playthrough. And it was great because we did the playthrough of the first one, the 2018 God of War. And then we immediately went into God of War Ragnarok when it released. That was that was really good timing on my part. I gotta say that was probably one of the better things I streamed um, for the year. I hate that I did not have the updated capture card to play Elden Ring, which is why... In 2023, I'm probably going to try and do another playthrough of Elden Ring and actually capture it correctly because um, it 
it was not good. It was not good when I did it before. It was passable. And those of you that watch my stream on the regular and you, you know, are here hanging out, usually regardless of what I'm playing anyway, like that isn't the main important thing. Um, but for people that are just popping in or just showed up for Elden Ring or whatever, or just checking the channel out, not good enough for those people. Not for me, anyway. Uh, so I upgraded it when I played God of War, thanks to my brother. Shout out to Haji. Um, because he was like, no, you have to have, like, you, I can't, he said, I literally, I can't watch it. Like, it's, it hurts me physically to watch it. I'm like, okay, fine, no, I'll upgrade it. Um, so I did. And it's great. And now I need to, I need to do the same thing for Elden Ring. I guess, I wonder if they fixed a lot of the PC problems that the Elden Ring uh, PC version was having. Because that's also another way to get, um, good quality right it's just when you're capturing from a console you gotta use a different capture card and it was not it was not good enough it was not doing its job so i had to fix it Ooh, i forgot that jedi survivor was coming out this uh year steve but you know what i'm most excited about starfield starfield is <sighs> i'm trying to think where where a comparable one for me coming out but and i wasn't streaming it then but like when skyrim came out for me and i had played oblivion and i had played morrowind and i knew that skyrim was coming out i was excited about it like waiting and i felt like i knew about it for so long uh, before it came out like just waiting and it's that has felt very similar for me with starfield like i've tried not to look at it directly but every time I do, I'm like, I'm going to love it so much. I can tell. Like, I just know it. Um, I can't wait to play this game. And I don't really get like that over games very often. Not to where it's like, ah, I can't distract myself with something else. Like, it's really hard. It's really, really hard. And I'm very excited about Starfield. Oh, you brought me this guy. Oh, the uh, lumberjack. Oh, wait, I can't see my, where's my thing? There we go. The Lumberjack from um, the Burl Ives. I think it's the Rudolph special, right? Is it the Rudolph one? It's so sweet. It's a. It's like a hard... There's a hard ball in here of some sort. I don't even know what it is, to be honest, but it's got a little give to it. But it's pretty hard, actually. It's so cute. And this boy is so precious. What they can't see if you push it. What? What? You too close. <laughs> what? Here we go. Haji hype, older brother hype. Yes, yes. I gotta say, it's like when it's when it comes to gaming, he has always, always, always had my back and made sure that I'm, you know, getting what I should be getting when it comes to gaming like i know listen my setup would not be anything that it is if it wasn't for him like it, it, even just like nudging me in that direction like no no like this this is how you do it and i'm like oh yeah that is way better way better <gasps> i'm also excited about hogwarts the uh uh, uh Hogwarts Legacy, I think it's called. It's like the Harry Potter uh, open world RPG game. Create your own wizard. I'm so there for it. I'm so there for that. Um, has he played Callisto Protocol? He has not. He was waiting on it because he saw some reviews and thought in that moment, I think he was playing maybe was The Witcher. But there was also something even before that that he was playing, and he's like, while it's full price, I'm going to wait. Um, based on what, uh, based on the things that he saw in reviews and, you know, without spoiling anything, he was like, not saying you won't get it, but definitely going to wait while it's full price and play these other games. And then, you never know, if you have it on your wish list or something, it goes on sale or whatever. It's like, yeah, actually, now this is the perfect time to try it. So he was waiting on that one. Hi. Don't you have a few more Lego games? I, I do have more Lego games. Uh, one of the ones I was gotten uh, last time was The Hobbit. 
and I'm super excited about that. I think all of the um, Lord of the Rings ones would be amazing to play. You look forward to Horizon th 3, Aloy launches into space. What, um, man, the, the PlayStation VR, I'm really gonna want that. I know I'm gonna want that. And I'm afraid if I don't, like, order it or something, I'm never gonna get one, like, ever. But I really do, I really do want it. Because immediately one of the first games is a Horizon game, like, oh my god. Like, it's crazy because I had zero interest in the original PlayStation VR, but already they've got me so excited with how much better they're doing with it. Like, oh, makes me so happy. Yes, it's a good decision. It's that's like kind of what he was thinking. And you big, you big Daz, not sure about it. Yourself after having watched a few people play it. Interesting. See, I've heard some like, mm. and when when a game is full price, sixty bucks, it's like I I need to be hearing pretty much across the board what what I look for in a game. Right? It's not to say I believe every review or if someone says a game is bad, I don't like it, but you can usually tell a general sentiment of what people like about the game and what people dislike about the game, and based on those things, I know how I would feel about it. Um, and when a game is full price, I don't want any like I don't know, man. Like if I'm not feeling if I'm not feeling it 100%, just put that sucker on a wish list and wait for it to go on sale, you know, or whatever. Cuz that's what I love about uh PC gaming, Steam gaming especially like it's why I've, I really did I think start to prefer Steam uh over any consoles like suit like so long ago, like more than 10 years ago, I was like, oh no, Steam is definitely like where it's at. Um, because I felt like the games, they would go on sale more or they were just cheaper in general. Like the the $60 console like baseline was not, like that did not apply the same way with PC gaming. Not that some games weren't, but it was a lot more rare and then it starts to make you be like, that's kind of crazy. Like, I don't know. Give me this. Yeah. All right. Spider-Man 2 is coming. I forgot that. Mass Effect 4. Is that coming out? I would definitely be interested in playing that. So, we back to where we had started originally, guys. A vile force of darkness has arrived. And this all happened because I was trying to take the picture with Orson with the headphones on. It's very cute. Um, and uh, didn't realize the game was running because I'd fired it up to make sure that it was capturing correctly. And it is, as you guys can see, because everyone could also read that message. Um... And then I switched over to take the picture, and I thought I had to hit pause. I'm also wondering if maybe his paw just went like this on the keyboard, and that's that's what happened, because um, I was I like doing the picture stuff, and then I didn't even have my headphones on, and I heard like a noise, and I was like, "What?" And then when I looked, this is where we were at. <sighs> so this is old Blizzard Inc. Fortress. And things aren't looking good. All right. Oh, my God. Chris, Christine, thank you so much. Happy New Year. Gotta go. Sorry. Have a great stream. Hey, it's it's called The Lagoon. And some people, they, they, they pop in. They say hi. They pay the tax, which is a like on the video. That's literally all I need from you. So thank you for the uh, super chat. I'll do a nice little sun salutation in your honor, Christine. Thank you so much. Thank you for joining and I hope you have a wonderful first day of 2023. Thank you for, for, you know, being a part of mine. Isn't that wonderful? I think it, I think it is. Where'd my boy go? Where'd that horsey boy go? You know? Uh, you did this, boy. You started this. This is how, like... <sighs> well, 
then this is all we can do, you guys. This is all we can do. Why is it acting weird? I hope my connection is all good. Don't like it when it's weird. Sussy, thank you for 18 months of membership. That is incredible. And pro gamer status at that. And what is what is uh, amazing sussy is that you were like long before you were a member you co left comments on almost every live stream and you were clearly watching and enjoying the content and and engaging with it long before you were a member and i love that so much because i want a lot of people out there to realize yes being a member helps the channel tremendously it is probably the best way to support um my channel if you were like oh what can i do to help like the most probably the membership um would be it right it opens up the live chat if i do any members only stuff it's like that's it that's the it's the premium membership all right there that's all i can do and as you guys know pro gamer is literally just a status thing um because some people just need to be a pro gamer all right that's why that's why it exists um and i do love that you were able to show people that you can absolutely engage with and enjoy the content without being a member um and that's really important if i want my channel to grow right because most people are uh, a viewer without being a member first before they ever become a viewer and a member so you got to go through that phase so i want that part to be uh, enjoyable for people and i want to think about those people too when they're watching right um so it was a. Uh, it was very helpful in my growth, Sussy, to have a supporter like you. Long before you were a member, you were a member. I, man, I've. It took me so long, because Twitch uses different words like subscriber, and you know, and then member. Or whatever it was, for uh, uh for Twitch, it's like a follower is like a subscriber. And a subscriber was, like, the member here, right? Because it was, like, resub. We had resub hype. And now it's, like, remem is just not the same. Rebimb. Like, it doesn't, it doesn't roll off the tongue the same way. Boy, I can't. Okay. Boy, let's, now that you're back, why do I keep losing OBS here? Now that you're back, boy, I want you to look at what I want you to look at the mess you made. And poor Blizzard Ink Fortress is screwed. Like screwed. A foul force has arrived, and you're just like, okay. Siege. Great. At least we got some amazing music. Vile Force of Darkness has arrived. I don't want to unpause. We got a bard that was visiting. We got... Ooh, we got some dwarves that upgraded to Axe Lords. Listen, we might be alright. We can fight. We have, a, we have at least some defenses. We had people getting different jobs. Don't worry, boy. I'm not ign ignoring you. We made a bunch of cheese. A dry season has come. Uh-oh. Needs... Oh, shit. We need... Needs table. I had tables, I thought. Oh, my God. Okay. Unpause. This is great music, but right? Oh Jesus! A goblin army? No. Okay. Okay. 
okay, okay. They're here. God, we are actually very low. I, I probably definitely like should have chose a different location, I think. Oh damn, this music makes me feel like I'm gonna die. Okay, go to squads. Select them both. Go to equip. I mean, they're as good as they're gonna get. I don't have enough to make iron armor for my humies, but. And I can't tell. I make so many bolts, and I cannot tell if these guys, like, why they're not equipping them. Like, I don't know. Okay, assign a station. Right here, guys. Right up top. Like, get your gear on and get ready. And then everybody else. Oh, God, I really should make them, like, get back in their burrows. Oh, God, how do I do that? Oh, I don't have burrows set up. Doesn't matter. Guys. There he is. I see him. 255! He's a skilled bowman, though, of course. Of course he is. Are my guys here or not? Please hurry! Go! Oh, Jesus. Please, please, where are you? Guys. Oh, oh no. Snatcher, protect the children. Oh, shit, we are getting swarmed. All right. Yo, where are they? They're just scattering. Scattering everywhere. Slaughter all my creatures. Oh shit! Are we fighting yet? Can anybody fight? Why are you just hiding in there? Hold on. They did not go to their post, so we just gotta murder this guy. There it is! Okay, one dead. Hallelujah. There we go, finally. It took him way too long to mobilize. Okay, I killed one, but where are the others? I know there's more. I know there's more. Somebody died. Our population went down to 76. This, where's this? Oh. Sorry, Kegel boy. Got oh man. No way. There had to be more goblins than that. I don't believe it. Damn, a trapper got found dead. I can't believe it. There's got to be more. 
I don't believe that. Shit. Well, at least we can bury the trapper first thing. Oh, wait. Did he get buried already? Damn, he did. He got buried quick. Well, that's good. At least when you have uh, these, they're they're able to take care of those bodies immediately. Well, I think we might have done it. Damn. The wrestler. I love that they're just called like the wrestler. Damn. They killed one of my llamas? You bastards. Can't click it. There. Um, we just have to eat it, I guess. How do I unselect all of that, you know? That's what I want to know. Definitely stealing his armor. Thank God there's not too many of these. That would be horrible to have to undo. Have to do it with every single piece. Unclick it. Gotta be a better way. Gotta be. I missed one. Damn. bow? No. A quiver, of course. There it is. Alright, well, I guess you guys can have no orders now. I think someone snatched a that they snatched a child, but he said, watch out for the snatcher. Yeah. Protect the children. Shit. <gasps> Is that how they got in? Is that how he got in? It is. Well, son of a bitch. See, they can just dig. That's why you got to put a roof on all of this. Anything that is above, you've got to put a roof and like seal because they can literally just drop straight in. <gasps> These guys. Oh shit, what happened here? Oh my God, how did I even miss this? Oh, what the frick? This is horrible. I, you gotta let me select it. How do you, how do you undo it? It won't, oh, there. You. I have to move the freaking thing. I cannot, like, were we fighting in here? Did I not know that? Okay. All of this is so ridiculous. How? I gotta, there gotta be a better way. Okay. This, not. Oh yeah, his body's not locked. Of course. 
throw all that crap. But why? I, I need to figure out why it locks gear. Because then they literally never do anything with it. And it just sits there and rots. And we can't have that. That can't be a thing. So, what do you do? Go one by one and just undo it, I guess? It's like a thing. I thought there was two big dads. I saw them. Now, we have found, I think, one, two, two more. But there's definitely something, you know, something ain't right. It is sized for goblins. Oh, I need to just get rid of that crap. Whoops. I mean, I guess it's like you could melt some of that stuff down and like actually do something with it, right? You can, you can chop shop it up no there we go so we got all that one and then this guy right here Yeah, if you had to do this for like a whole army, this would be ridiculous. Well, we found at least three. But I feel like I, I'm with Big Dads. I saw at least four when I clicked over and I saw them coming in the map there. So, I'm not... I'm missing where? There. There's more? Oh my god, of course. Okay. One, two, three. Alright, please get the dead body out. Put it in the put it in the this place. Or oh shit, is it full? It is. Oh no. Can I go up like that? No. There. I was wrong. We're actually completely fine. Oh God. these other people that need th their engravings done. I don't know who I don't know anything about these guys. Oh no, what's happening? I don't like that. A caravan? Oh, good. Good. shouldn't have them both off duty at the same time but I want them to take off all of oh shit goblin blood <gasps> who are you Rovod is that who died oh damn my dude also can I just put hatches on these need hatch cover first of course oh my god there could be so many goblins down here Where you hiding down there?
Okay, so they didn't seem to actually get in my fort. I'm I'm kind of surprised, but but should you be? I do have the longest streak in gaming for not dying. So, I guess it makes sense. I guess it makes sense. Whoa, finished good spin? Damn, let's get these. No, you may not have an armor bin, thank you. They, Because they'll ask for it. Uh, don't put anything on the table that you're not willing to trade, maybe. Because they will counter. Even if you don't select it, if you send it up there, they'll be like, you sure, though? Like... But it's better than not having anything to barter with that they don't want. Right? All right. I can't believe this. Now, I will say, there was that little... I need to build proper defenses, like, along this edge. Because... They definitely, obviously, like, jump down or something. And maybe they can, you know... They're goblins, right? Actually, what he probably did was... Di uh, was go straight down. Had to. Right here. I bet it is. I bet he jumped right in here. God damn it. Oh, where'd it go? Where'd it go? Seal that shit up. Diplomacy. You're my liaison from the mountain homes. Okay. Oh, goodness. What does it say? Merit. Merit deserves a reward. What's merit exactly? And I come empowered to establish this colony as an official land of our realm. Oh, my God. We did it. Can you imagine the trade wagons? Of course, there are responsibilities and the nobility must live well. Do you have anyone suitable to recommend for elevation? Um... Wow, and you can say, absolutely, let's go, or say, flattering, but we'd rather maintain our distance from the mountain home. Like, you don't have to do it. This is great. Man, I do... This is where, like, oh, I understand why RimWorld, you know, is, the, like, has has the things available that it has. Now, I would like to see Blizzard Inc. become a part of it, right? I'd like to see how far we can go. How far we can, uh, you know, take our little our little mountain home. But I can also see some fun in saying, like, no thanks. We kind of just want to do our own thing. I love the politics in this game, and how they how they play out, and how you can interact with it. See you, Sabretooth. It's all good, man. I knew, listen, I knew, I I thought that was it. I thought we were done when it was like a vile darkness, uh, you know, whatever. I was like, oh, like, well, it was fun. We had a good run. Like, it was nice. And not only did we survive, but we have apparently been promoted to official land of the realm. So the mountain homes are like the dwarven societies, right? And there's like four or five of them on any given map and you choose a specific one or you're just assigned one that you come from and then you can interact with them you can choose to become like a like a one of the you know one of the homes of your of your other mountain home which is great um or you can do your own thing right you can grow and become your own mountain home you don't even have to become a land of it you know and i bet eventually you can become the capital um which would be kind of cool so the difference is I got to dig more like that's what he's saying. Like nobility must live well. So 
the bedroom's got to go like even higher. And I'm thinking what I'll do is make like a little house maybe for the really noble and put in there. Cause I don't have any of them in like their own private dining rooms, um, their own private training rooms. And just, I don't know. Give them their own personal of everything. And what you gotta do, I just gotta find, I could even do like any of these levels between, you know, where I'm at. All right, let's do it. I have some recommendations. Don't I have a mayor already? He got elected mayor. Seems like a guy. Wait, elevate whom? Ooh, to barony. All right, where's my mayor? It should just say mayor. Right? Oh my god, I got so many. I got a beekeeper? Right there. This guy. Mayor. Listen, the man was elected. Okay, I didn't assign him. So, he must be doing something right. Alright. We're making... Datan Lollacazole. He's our mayor. And he's like, alright, anyway. Everything's normal. He's normal. Um, what do we have? Let's ask for seeds. Because I want to redo my garden as well. Anvils were okay. I wouldn't mind a steel anvil. You know? Weapons, um, wait, can we go bodywear? All of it. Armor and, and such. I want more. I'm having a hard time making, which is crazy. I shouldn't, seeing as how I live next to the volcano. I really want to get it sorted. I don't need, I don't need loincloths. I don't want any, I don't need any dwarves and loincloths. Why would you want that? I guess maybe if it was hot. Maybe. Uh, instruments. Give me all of them. I don't care to pay a premium. I just... What's it called? Not a... Not a... I became a... Not an affiliate. I mean, I guess kinda. Some drinks. The gypsum plaster. Gotta have some of that. This boy literally just holds on to the ball. Doesn't want to, you know, do anything else. Just wants me to hold on to it. Okay. A need for tools is expected next year. All right. Damn, I need more iron. Excuse me? Boy, what was that? Hmm. I... I still can't really believe we survived that. Oh, give me that. I would like that, please. Give me that. Actually, let's not. know if they can mine diagonally like that, but we'll find out. Oh, Big Daz, I see. Potash is 
for, for the fertilizer. Okay. I was researching soap making before the stream. That was a thing I really wanted. I said I want my next fortress to be a soap factory, but... But that was when I thought this one was gonna die, so... Oh, hold on. Here we go. Come on, Mr. Broker. Get up here. So we can trade. There we go. Alright, let's see what we got. What do we got to trade? What do we got to trade? An obsidian mug? Very spendy. Wait, it contains one item. What one item does it contain? That matters. Right? Like, that matters a lot. No, you may not have my fancy splint. We need to cut and polish more gems. Fancy water skin and backpack. Sounds good. It's got to be mean something. Like telling you the size or something or damaged maybe. Does yellow mean, like, good? Like, good, normal quality? White, white has to mean something. I'm wondering if it means it's damaged. If that's what all of this means. Or tainted, like in RimWorld. How, like, oh, they were worn by dead people. So they don't, you know... They don't really like that. But I'd like to know, clearly it's like noticeable, there's some sort of difference, but even just like I said, all the other stuff, like the X's and the weird little symbols and like, I don't know what those mean. I wish I did. Alright, we got, ooh, let's... I mean, we got a lot of stuff. Damn. Nice. I'll take the... Give me that. The leather. This has got to be the one I, like, specifically requested, I think. Because they have, like, everything I ask for. Which is pretty awesome, gotta say. Tripe. What? I'm trying to remember what can I get the fat from. I'm just gonna take it all. Don't need any of the cheese. We got plenty of the cheese. Let's 
Some basic pants. Everybody should have pants, you know? Some bucklers. Some various bucklers. Boots are so crazy expensive. boy. Let go of it then. Just let go of it. A toga? We got togas up in here? don't need the cloaks actually so that's good there let's trade wonderful yeah he seems happy because he made a I let him make a big profit it's fine we're all working together you know and we got a bunch of like the meat and animal supplies and then a bunch of regular clothes They can walk through the diagonal. That's not good. Um, I, oh, Jesus. Come on, can we clean out our... What? Someone's got rotten cheese in the barracks? Come on, man. That's not gonna work. Oh, Jesus, look at all the trash. Where's render fat? That's from a. I thought that was from. Oh, it's in the kitchen.
then I need to set this butcher right here. Nice. Hopper. Here we go. That's iron. I recognize it. Oh God, everybody's thirsty. This is not good. They're like, yeah, become a member. We're going to include you. And I'm like, ah, don't even have water. Oh, shit. Oh no, 84. Listen, okay, we're getting too many people unhappy here. This is not good. Not, not good. Not good at all. Petition. Derlu wishes to join the Anvil of Veiling as a citizen. I mean, is that a human? I'm not sure how I feel about this. <laughs> Let's approve it. We might need their help, who knows. everything oh hold up hold up hold up hold up hold up no hold on cancel cancel don't don't be dumb don't do anything near the magma that would be just like me poke a hole in the side of the volcano and like flood my entire area Look out, they're just making them messes. How do you make, how do you get them to clean up their clothes? Oh, man. You know, I didn't even think about that, sussy. That my, that all, all this stuff I'm doing might not be the best. Especially this. Look at this. Trying to just find water. Just trying to find water. I think it might be kind of fun to do um, a desert run. And have it, have, you know, at least a light aquifer. But maybe even a bigger one. Um... And making it run on water power. Right? Like, I think that'd be kind of cool.
It is insanely mineral rich down here. We got dwarves just everywhere. Making blocks. Oh, hold up. Making blocks. We need to seal up everything. These guys are not fully dead yet, and I want they're not even close to dead. It, no, what's happening is they're out of control. Things keep going wrong. And then they just, they like somehow survive. And I'm like, oh no, it's wrong. Oh, this is wrong. Oh, this is wrong. Like, I can't. And then they do this. See what I'm saying? I can't give up on these guys. They are going crazy! One thing is for sure. You can't say, I don't know how to make an in. Woo! Come on now. So good. What is this? Someone's king? After a polite discussion with local rivals, Vutok Paint Cobalt has claimed the position of king of the Gravel Burning. I think that's us. Does he live here? Did we just did we just become the capital? Vutok. He is! No! This mofo had a party and is like, I'm the king! And they're like, yeah! Some of them. Maybe not all of them. What? Where is he? This is amazing. I've never gotten this far with like the politics. We got a king. Poor intuition, not creative. He needs a royal throne room. Oh shit. All right. Let's uh let's go. Let's you know what? Yeah, these guys ain't dead, but whatever. We're just going to keep going. We're going to keep going until we can't go no more. Uh construction's floor. Let's but in the meantime, can I please just seal this up? Please. What do we need? 28? Oh. <laughs> and it's actually not safe until I put wall here. But we'll get to that. I, I can't actually believe we were not dead. Oh, did someone just drop a ball for me? Is that for me? Excuse me, boy. Es excuse me. Was that ball for me? No. Where are you going? Oh my goodness. Nixie, you are not on security. I don't know how I'm... How... Okay. 
Throne room equal bigger tavern. I could actually put like... No, I want to have him maybe, like, I wouldn't mind having the whole floor, like, these guys, oh, these, these guys are like, these, I want to be basically like average citizen rooms. Double bed, I would like a cabinet in each one, and we don't have that yet. Did I build these ever, the cabinets? Here we go, now we got some. Yeah. Do like that. But then, we've got our tombs here, catacombs rather, and I think, I mean, maybe above it? Like, maybe I go down two. Oh my god, doggies, please. Please. I'm gonna have to go talk to him. I'm gonna have to go have a meeting. Has Orsi also a throne? He, um, of course he does. He just chooses not to use it most of the time. Okay, let's think about a throne room. I also think bigger tavern as well. So see, I think probably probably would not be a bad idea if we're if we're being totally honest. Probably not a bad idea. <laughs> And now Orsi's like, let me in. I'm, I'm on security too. That's him. Literally him. Boy. There. Throw more trash here. Okay. Give me just a moment, guys. Quick, uh, quick break. Quick check on the doggies. Probably let them outside. We're alive and we're growing. We are a full on town. We even have a king. So I think we're doing pretty good. All right. We're not, we're definitely not going to die. All right.
All right, everybody, I'm back. Thank you for your patience. Uh, thank you also for leaving a like on this video. If you did that already, I really appreciate it. Let's see. I think, obviously, the deeper you go, the more prestigious it should be, right? Like this. Herb. Herb. Ooh. Fancy. Gimme. Yeah. Uh, Gimme that. Thank you for the weebies. Let's, uh, let's dig out a royal level. We'll, we'll make it and may maybe maybe we do one hmm cuz we need also a dungeon but i want it kind of central Hmm. So let's go. One down is going to be dungeon. Dungeon is going to go like this. And then... Like a big room in the in the entryway, we can maybe put some offices. We can put uh, you know we can put some different things, but then we're gonna put cells. And the cells, I'm thinking, shouldn't be like. I mean, I guess they could be decent, right? They don't need to be horrid. We can be known for taking good care of. Prisoners, I, I guess, right? Like the two by three. I think the two by three is like a good... I just had a conversation with these dogs about jurisdiction. I better not be hearing any ruckus. A wild rumpus. What is it they call it in Where the Wild Things Are? Boy, you better not be chewing on my chair, boy. That's all I'm going to say. Is that my chair you're chewing on, boy? Is that my chair you're chewing on, boy? Hey, look at this. Oh, Queen's got you this. Queen's got you. Oh, you can't see it. This nice big rope here. This nice big rope that I have a nice, I have a nice handle to hang on while we dig out a prison. Down here. I think that's pretty good. Right? I'm thinking I could actually build walls. But I don't, I don't know. We'll, we'll see if I need to. So one level down. Prisons. We can put like sheriff house and and officer houses. <laughs> Boy, you can't grab the handle. The handle is mine. Boy. Do you want a throne or not, boy? Hmm? So, how are we going to do this? I like to think of it as like make a street, right? Put a big, circle-ish one here, right? I think I can handle, no. Like a big, 
circle. weird I got my why does it look weird ah dang it hold on don't do it yet that's better Just trying some different room designs. I don't know. It gets boring always with the same old, same old. We'll see. McMuffin! Why did the father bring an extra pair of pants with him to golf in case he gets a hole in one? That is the daddest of dad jokes that I've heard all year, McMuffin. And it's crazy. I wouldn't have expected to get that from you. But, uh, but well done. Well done. Hey! Peppa's here! How's it going, Pep? How do you feel? I hope you had a wonderful, wonderful New Year's. That goes for everyone, by the way. Hope you guys are... Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. It's not even. <sighs> See, this is why you don't breach it. It's why you don't breach it until you're ready. That is not... Oh. <laughs> oh. Now that actually That's the middle. Yep. There. Sort of. But see, yeah, these can be like little statue uh, divots or something. They don't have to be each side even. I actually don't want that. But I want them to be... That looks actually even, even, even. That's actually kind of cool. 
and oh shit and then we breach right there and now we're gonna make a king throne and like a dining room see yeah this could be like his dining room this can be his bedroom And this can be like the royal section. <sighs> I, I know, McMuffin. That's the irony of what I said. <laughs> Clearly, I missed my mark, though. Whoo! Look at this. Now, oh wait a minute. Oh, see, no, I gotta, I gotta mine these out. When they start having like stuff in them that I that I need, we gotta mine them out. We'll smooth all the floors, though. We won't waste time laying down time or, or materials, for that matter, laying down. High five laughed at the all year. <laughs> yes. Uh, good. I'm glad something landed. High five. Thank you. And and exactly. It's funny because it's it's only noon on the first day of the first year. A lot of people aren't even up yet. You know. So that's not good. And I honestly probably need to do some more of these uh, living quarters. Wait a second. There's a duck in here. That's not going to do. We need to butcher some animals. Avert your eyes. Those are trained and trainable. Well, no, you gotta let the babies grow up. Um, there. So water buffalo, oh, dang, we really? I only have two females, period. That's it. The goats, that'll that'll work out actually pretty good. Oh my goodness. We just I think Orson went outside and barked and set them off. They're working together now. They're working. Yes. Oh my god. Do you see what you did?
Okay. Everyone is taken care of. Calm down. Given a treat. They all got yak chews, so they are so good. So good for them to chew on. And really tough, but like won't hurt their teeth, which is nice. And for especially for like a really hard chewer like uh, Triton, he can just demolish things, which is not actually always good for his teeth. He's just so good. So hopefully, oh, meet the Splutington over here. This boy, when he gets in trouble, I want to show you guys what he does. Oh, Jesus. Everyone here? Yeah, yeah. Okay. And then I have to zoom so far in. And you can actually see the little yak chew right by him. He's just staring at it. That's what I'm dealing with right now. Nixie and Triton are fine. They, they, listen, they get all worked up when uh, they're up there by themselves. Okay. They can see people walking. They see, you know, delivery people. Although, it's Sunday, there shouldn't be too many deliveries happening. But sometimes. But they get, they do not like it, you know, when people stray too close. All right, we'll get one less of these. One less of these. Now, the gooses and goslings. What's a keet? What the hell is that? It's not full grown, so we ain't gonna eat it yet, but I need to know. And so many of these pets are becoming pet, uh, uh, um, pets. These animals are becoming pets. That's what I was trying to say. Now, I wouldn't mind. I like that the female and the male boar, a boar and a sow. Is it sow? Is that how they say it? Um, they're pets. But they've not had any babies yet. The billy goat. A nanny goat, nanny goat. A nanny goat, more nanny goat. A goat kid. All the goats are owned. Damn. It's a lot of babies. Well, not babies, but just not fully grown. So that's a problem, as you can imagine. I wonder if I can build an iron bridge. Wouldn't that be kind of cool? To, to actually like have. If I could make this place survive, I think it would be a really badass base. It's really ugly how I've started it. But I do think with a little bit of work, this could become just really cool. Building present. Ah! No. I want to select material. Because as important as it is to build the um, throne room, sealing in our, our place up here is also very important. Oh, 
Maybe I could flatten this. No, it wouldn't really work like that, I don't think. We got a lot of people not happy. Are you tanning a hide right now? Oh man, my barracks is still stinky. We gotta do something about that. Can't be having a stinky barracks. I think there's still kind of a hole there that I gotta fix. Kitchen. Okay, we're rendering fat. Okay, good. Now, soap. Soap makers. Both of these. I would like both of these, please. Yeah. Oil-containing item? Oh, do I need jugs? I think I might need jugs. Oh, God. Can I do that? How do I... Where's my crafts? Jug. A rock jug. Perfect. Go. We need more rooms, like, soon. Very soon. He just stomps over and like, a, like spins himself in a circle so hard, and like, <clears throat> like fine, I'll sleep, I guess. Oh my God, it is so sweet. It's the sweetest. Okay, can I make? Once they do that, iron, 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 iron. Are you making iron here? Is that what you're doing? Oh yeah, the galena. What's it do? Again, I don't really remember. Oh, God. It won't let me select. Like, how do I pick that up? Right? Like, the crossbow there, it's got a lock on it, meaning I can't loot it. 
without completely moving the stockpile, which maybe that's maybe that is the solution. Oh nope, him with the sploot on the uh, on the carpet now, the little piece of carpet I have. Uh, wait a second. Yeah, I wish I could scroll. He's moving it. Perfect. That's how you do it, right there. And then I can just expand it back out, I guess. Yeah, now we got an iron crossbow. Hell yeah. Um. I mean, this is looking pretty fine right here. Mind that, mind that. Open space. Floor. Tables, we got doors. We need to move them cages down somewhere. And, and then we need to expand this. So let's go here, right click. Custom. Go to cages. Oh, not beiges, but ca not beiges, but cages. Animal. Not. But see, empty cages. But not animal traps. Not any of this. are allowed here. And cages are not allowed here. You see. You see. Animal traps, though, are, as a matter of fact. Let's do this. And then we'll build a wall in place here. And then this is relatively sealed, right? Relatively. Actually, cancel that, scratch that. There we go. Make, a, a, dig the channel there, right? Then we'll flatten it. And what we do is mine that, mine that, mine that. And that way we can actually 
somewhat seal it up here. Boom. This is where I need to move my animals next. This little part up here is looking pretty barren. They're doing a pretty good number on it. Damn, look at all these uh, bolts. What? Iron arrows. Oh, from the gobbies. Yeah. These bastardos. Okay, pen and pasture. Oh, you know what? I need an animal training area. Dang. I really think about that. No wonder they've not really been training them as hunting dogs. If I could find a place underground that I could grow grass and my grazers could like be there I would much prefer that because these guys just feel like they're sitting ducks literally okay and the animals gone wild Forty. Forty two. going on. Oh, they're unloading. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, God, actually. We need to, I need to chop. Actually, you know what? Just leave the trees. It's fine. It's actually fine right now. Um, let's do... Farm plot. A little bit of the quarry, whatever's. Now, okay, plump helmets, not set to paralyze currently. No pigtail seeds. How did I manage that? I thought you were able to get them back. Oh god, alert. Oh no. <gasps> hold up, hold up. don't break these down properly you end up so screwed wall and desite wall sounds pretty badass
What's he doing? A human lasher. Are you a part of my... Who's that? Oh, reliving it. Also, okay. Jesus. We gotta be careful. The human lasher. Let's check out our squads real quick. The assassins. Everybody's off duty. Yikes. We need to probably fix that. Um. Humans. Where's my humans at? What was his name? Maybe I can't make him a member just yet because it does not appear that I'm able to. Got a mace dwarf. Anybody else with some any basic novice fighter? No, he's our diagnostician. We need him. Novice axe dwarf or performer. This guy seems like a good choice. Not doing anything else. There we go. Um, and then the bolt throwers here. One, two, three, four, five. Oh wait. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so what we gotta do is this. Um, gross. There's like just random pieces of yak and animal in here. Why y'all eating just raw meat? What's going on? Don't understand this. Furniture, bed. Metal armor guy here. Yeah, they don't. I thought for sure I had. Yeah, why aren't you wearing this? Large iron, large iron, large iron. Yeah, you have stuff you could wear. metal That boy ain't on patrol no more. That boy is done. Him done done. Oh, I know why. We gotta put him back on duty. Sorry. It's back to staggered training, everyone. That's right.
Then we now I can go back. Let's make a let's add. Who is my Mark Dwarf? Who was it? Mark Dwarf is a great term. Novice wrestler. Talented Mark Dwarf. Ooh. Expert Mark Dwarf. Maybe I should make these guys the hunt the actual hunters though. Let's do that. Let's try that instead. Oh, we did have a Oh no, those were animals. Oh god. I cannot believe the mandate of certain goods. Like what? You know what else we need to probably make? What kind of crown should he wear? You know, now that I think about it, I'm like, huh. Well, a king probably needs a, needs a crown. Right? So let's go to work order and try this. A crown? And make a obsidian would be pretty cool, but it also seems, you know, like everything else is made out of obsidian. But I, I don't know why that's necessarily bad. I kind of think it's cool. We are the volcano people. Or can you do that? Is that even allowed? Is obsidian allowed? I don't know that it is. Damn. Nope. Dang. Gold. Gold's cool. If you go to rock crown, though, can I select specifically what type of rock, right? Let's try that. Maybe that's how you do it. And then you go ob obsidian. Boom! That's how you do it. That's how you do it. Okay, look. Now, I made a bunch of jugs, I think. And is it going to let me... Oil containing item. Oil, it says it needs an oil containing item. Um, ooh, you know what else I want? Workshops. There is the screw press, which allows you to get some items out of that. And then I need the quern. The kern. Is it with a K? Kern. Uh, we have not made any progress with the soap. I'm, that's literally what I'm doing right now. But it's because I haven't found the oil and or fat. I mean, I have it, but I don't know how to use it. And I, I guess I just need to probably store it better. A quern. Sugar flour and other various slurries. So yeah, you can like millstone some stuff. Needs a quern. Make it a workshop first. Okay. Is that a stone? I'm assuming. Uh, oh, nope. We gotta do this. Entombed and slab engraved. Entombed. Memorialized. Slab engraved. How do you do a memorial? Not memorialized. Rovod. No. S what? Hmm. Not really sure. Two, three. I'm not sure why it would let me memorialize the thing that attacked me. Because I'm pretty sure that's what that was. And this guy too, Mato, who are you? You know what, let's just do it all. And we'll see what we end up with. Did we make the jugs? I bet you did. 
We got all these tables. Oh no. Nope. That's a bad sound. That's a bad sound. Uh oh. Carpenter withdraws from society. Oh no. Oh god. Are you gonna go insane? Don't turn bad. All right. Oh, nice. Now, mine this, and then it should be easy to see where I want to place the wall. And also, Also give them room to walk around and build it, actually. You know what I'm saying? Like, that kind of works out perfect when you look at it. And then let's go all the way down here, check on our stone making. How are we doing? We got basalt blocks. Oh, they're doing pretty good. And then just regular rock blocks they're working hard on. And then I have two workshops down there for just making of... Damn. Damn. Well, I was going to put floor in this anyway. So I've got to be really careful. Hmm. It's not exactly what I was going for, but... But I'm going to have to... gonna have to work on this, but I'd like to put the, uh, the actual wall here as well. You know what I'm saying? Like, Do it slowly along the edge, I guess. My rainbow blocks of protection up here. Gotta love it. We need 60 blocks. Dang it. We do not have 60 blocks of any type. That's rough. I, I And I know it may not matter, but it, I need them to be actual blocks, not the rough. Because it does apparently make a difference. Um, will that work? The andesite and the cobalt? Oh my god, it did. Perfect. Flatten. Beautiful. Oh my God. I hate when I miss the corner block. Oh, Jesus. Oh. He's fine. I love it. They have, like, these, like, I'm withdrawing from society. I can't do this. And 
they go off and like do do something. They do a you know whatever project. And we've got an amazing wooden bed. How many seven? Let's see, seven floor. We got. I mean, I don't know if you count the top floor or not. Wait, oh, you guys are building. I'm like, what are y'all doing up here? Um. But if you don't count that, we have, we'll do a quick count. This is like the first floor with like a lot of stuff. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then you can also count eight, our stone quarry er area, and Nine, our search for water. <laughs> Man, I should probably make some more wheelbarrows, huh? I'm guessing they... Because they use... You have to... You can't just make something and then leave it. It lasts, you know, a finite amount of time based on how they use it. Hit me iron if I see my little iron deposits. Just so that as we are... Continuing to smelt the ore, they will keep finding it. They're very industrious little buggers, the the dwarves. They are just so like resourceful. I love it. Wait, is that iron? Yes, it is. Just free iron, thanks. So like close to nine or ten even. wall nineteen basalt we will make one sell right away. I also think I can go and make like uh, bars, like a bar door, I think. But I also think you have to have a specific Oh Jesus, it's probably I'm probably going to have to do some like fancy lever work. It's good. I've needed to practice this for so long. You know? And then I have to make the throne room all match. The day site. So we have a lot of it, so I should probably just make it out of that. You know what I'm saying? Like... Oh god, what? Oh! Cancel. Dang it. This is by far the biggest and most impressive fortress that I've made yet. By far. I have the most working parts. The, the, ac I have actual, like, um, you know, living quarters specifically, and where's the rest of the last one? I know I have them. Regular Dacite. I know I'm not out. I'm not out. I just saw it. Oh, yeah, see, that's so weird how it moves them around like that. I don't really understand. I haven't really understood that. I think as it gets less and less... here.
course. Of course they miss. These are going to be such a pain to build. Oh my god. What I have to do is just do these first. I've got to remember that. Wait a second. What did I just do? And how did I end up with a solid wall? Even after removing them? I'm so confused. It has to be. Like, oh, I'm gonna have to replace those, but then they don't. I, I'm gonna have to go back. Yeah, these are a pain in the ass. These are a pain in the build. Sorry, gotta be all the way through. Ugh. the worst. I love that you can hear the lava just burbling. bad. The, the openness of this is very bad. This is how you gotta learn, though, if you're gonna, you know... The sounds per level um, are different at the top. You can always hear the tavern sounds. Yeah, I do love how uh, good they've done with that in this game. As far as like the the amb ambient sound. just made a square 
because I was running out of room. We are making lots of blocks though, which is great. That one goes there. Bang, bang. Yeah, I do not like how they can just squeeze in right there, you know? Like, oh, no problem. up making that a lot smaller room. Oh well. So let's see if we can make iron bars. Who, wh I, why are they just leaving their clothes everywhere? Do I need like a community clothes bin? I'm thinking maybe I do. Cause they do not seem to want to clean up after themselves. And I, I've given some of them in their personal rooms, the cabinets, and to be fair, they don't have stuff strewn all about. You know what? Who has this been here? Terum Horest. Let's engrave him. Or memorialize him, rather. Oh shit, he got two? How'd he get two? We got, actually just go to this, work orders, add, um, bars, iron, uh, wait, how do you, what, what, what would it be called? Great. Make iron great. Does that work as a door? Is what I need to know. We'll make one and see. armor like human size metal armor I have it oh we got a baby who's the, who's the baby are we in winter oh god we are 
All right, we got a baby dwarf. Okay, um, okay, let's go back to soap. Let me, let me check out my soap status here. <sighs> honey from honeycomb, liquid from fruit, or liquid from pastes. Plant slurry into paper sheet. What? I'm gonna do each of them and just see if they are even able to do it. We got anybody able to do this? Ooh. Proficient as well. Put this guy in charge here. And now I need to go to, I believe it was the rock. The stone working. Add make a queer quern quern just one one will do we have a statue it doesn't tell me what it is Beep, boop, 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 boop. arrows arrows but not bolt 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 let's just make a shit ton of wooden bolts then can we make them out of bone actually that'd be great we'll do like 20 out of wood because ain't nobody carrying the bolts and we need them I keep making metal ones but I don't know what happens to them you guys are all very upset, not happy at all with me. Copper, iron, copper, lead. I made all this large iron stuff and they aren't wearing it. That, I'm, that I don't know how to fix. I'd like to know how to fix it, but I don't. Can't believe it. We're actually getting somewhat sealed in up here. I need to s build like a one more thing surrounding this to get in and out. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna move that nest box, move that bad boy down here. Uh, this guy. And then workshop, farming, the quern goes here. Very nice. Oh, we're gonna figure out soap making one way or another. All right? One way or another. Now, ash, wait, make ash, right? Like a lot. And at the ashery, make lie like a lot and then when I render the fat I should be able 
meal uh, to paste. Yeah, this one. What's he doing? Milling seeds. I'm curious what. Now what I need is this right here. Except custom food paste paste like extract we got fat mill uh, paste pressed extract and extract and l miscellaneous oh and lie oh yes yes probably need one just for that if I'm being honest but this will do for now and then we can remove all of that from this particular stockpile. We don't want that. Go under food. I wish there was a way to like copy paste like in RimWorld and then copy paste the inverse for the stockpiles. But everything I see online, I'm watching them just do, I, you know, it's like really good players. They're still doing the same thing I'm doing. Oh wait, that's the wrong one. This one. All the like milled and parts and whatever. Actually, all oh, that one. That one's actually fine. None of the fat. None of the paste. None. 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 Okay. Oh yeah, wait a minute. Uh, doors, hatches, doors. Let's go. No, it won't let me place it. Traps, cages, restraints. Ooh, wait. Hmm. Damn, glass cages can be filled with water and used as aquariums? What? That's interesting. I could do a rope chain in, in every one. That'd be pretty hardcore, wouldn't it? I have lie. I can make it. So that's good, right? put traps here. I'm so confused. Hey, Skip, thank you so much. Happy healthy new year to you as well. Um, thank you so much, Skip. I appreciate that support. It has been a wonderful new year so far. I mean... Other than my dwarves uh, having running into kind of one problem after another, but we're just surviving somehow, man. Do you think that's indicative of the year to come, or am I, or am I reading too much into it? You know. I don't know how I messed up. This is whatever. It's his throne room and he's going to love it. All right. That's what we know. We need more, more rocks right now.
This is not correct. At all. It just does like a regular old, you know, d -d 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 right? And then, I mean, I could just do it like that. Or. Like that. That's, that works. There he goes. Dun. Oh, long. Whatever, man. It's gonna be great. We gotta get more of these blocks, though, or we are not gonna be building. Or our throne room's not gonna be matchy-matchy, and I can't stand that, alright? So certain things can be not matchy-matchy. It's fine, right? When I just need a stone floor to protect me from goblins jumping into my base, no problem. Like, outside, no problem. Totally fine with that. But this, like, throne room, I'm gonna need it to be, you know, matchy-matchy. Like, right away. Okay. We'll let him finish that. And then, uh, let's look at the floor. What do we have for our little room in here? We got 12 plus 1, 2, 3, 4. So we need like 14 of something. The quartzite, maybe. That might be pretty. The microlene could be cool. The blue, I like that one. The alanite, the bright pink, I love it. The quartzite is very cool, actually. Um, rhyolite. The lead. Make a lead floor. No problem. That's it. Let's maybe do the blue. I like that. Oh, hello, Mr. Wellington. How's my boy? How's your my sweet boy? He my little bubba. Huh? How's that boy? How's this boy? My baby. My baby. Oh, boy, you're the best boy in the whole world. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Do the dwarves aren't that bad anymore. You know what? You're right. Now we still do have some. But out of 85, only 12, 16, so only 20. That's still a lot. Um, are mad beyond consoling right now. Well, that's maybe not beyond consoling. They're consolable. But they just need... Uh, So not correct. I gotta do the, I forgot I gotta do these corner ones.
It's a mess. It's an absolute. This is why I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know how to build in this game. That's why I need practice. Okay, so what was this gonna be? The king's bedroom, right? Oh, let's add a uh, really nice fancy bed. Remember the guy had like the insane bed? Yeah, this one, Bobbin Tish. That's fit for a king. Um, uh, cabinet. Some obsidian cabinets. Uh, we also have some tables. Have a nice table and two chairs, maybe. Right? Obsidian table, two chairs. Two of those. Beautiful. Um, a big old chest. For Mr. King. Mr. Kingman. Little bedroom. Blue talk. Maybe they'll they'll clean it up after we get done here. This is so ugly. I can't believe what I've done. <laughs> I hate it. It's the worst. Jay, I'm glad I'm able to entertain you, man. Sorry about flight delays, though. That is never any fun. So, I hope that that part doesn't stay a problem for you. Oh, God. We're getting really close to the... the edge here. Oh god, they did that really fast. They do it so fast, I can't keep track of like what I already did. And then I spend so much time working on something like this, but then I forget to, like, do the other thing that I need to do. Whatever that was. Jesus, that scared me. Why am I so jumpy? Let's go down. Y'all need to keep working. I think I might be out of basalt. And so, we need to chop these up. I'm now kind of worried about destabilizing my volcano after Sussy mentioned that. I'm like, oh, Jesus. You know, I didn't really think about that when I just started digging through everything. There. 
think I didn't have any more basalt blocks. But they're kind of like my go-to building ones inside the base, the fortress. I think we need to expand our tavern in here. Seventy. We have seventy of any block. Well, some rough block, but I want not rough block. I want done block. No, I don't. Just do here. Type this in block. Do a quick. We got alunite, which is you know, not a bad one. The bright pink one. It's not bright pink. But it's pink. Um, okay, so let's get let's go to labor. Let's look at our stone cutters. Now, see, I don't have that many other doing doing too much. So we're gonna put him. Actually, we have a lot. I don't really understand why they're not doing more of what they should be doing. Nobles and administrators. Okay, oh my god, yeah, see, he's like, I need these things. And we have a baron as well? Was he our king or our mayor? I think he was. Oh god, okay. Doors. What do you mean, make doors? Exports of bolts. Prohibited. What does that mean? The hell? What's going on? Hmm. <gasps> oh my god, are we making soap? We are! Hallelujah! We're making soap, y'all! Uh, not the... Not the milk, though. No milk? Where's the milk? Milk. No, that one's fine. Oh. Oh, I guess milk is an animal extract, so none, none of that one. That one's fine. Everything else, all good. Let's check our hospital. I think for the first time I finally got uh, soap. I think this is the first time I've ever made soap. I love that sound. We got it. We freaking did it. I finally made soap, hallelujah. Wow. Soaps, buckets, powder. Now the powder for casts, gypsum is something I do not have. And I don't know if you can make it. There might be another way to make some sort of plaster. But I don't know what it is. We've got a bunch of orderly. You need to be orderly for sure. I also need to Google how to make prison bars. A petition? Lestrette Smooth Rollers wishes to reside for the purposes of entertaining. You know what? Who doesn't want to come be an entertainer at the Peach of Nets? The name we never replaced. I think I do want to try from the beginning of a new thing. Uh, of, of a new um, embarking. I was trying to think what the word was. And, you know, you start with the seven dwarves, right? And naming them 
after you guys, after my lovely hoodlums and supporters. They agree. They agree. Because I really think it would be fun to follow the first seven through the adventure, right? So I'm pretty sure I still have all of them. All right, this is amazing. Let's go. Tavern party. Am I the only one that, like, doesn't get tired of this? Because I ain't getting tired. Put to this. Seriously. Even if you're a robot, that is one of the best jams in a game ever. Ever. I would love to know who wrote that, where it came from, how they found it. I would love to know. For real. Because that is so, so good. swore if I would have just followed it, it would have been fine. And then I ended up not... I can't. And I don't know why. But whatever. They just... You got a crooked throne room. Okay? Deal with it. Who who cares? The king. The king will care. Well, I don't care that the king cares. Alright? He's just gonna have... He's gonna have to deal. He should be happy he has a throne room at all. Don't you love that the doggies, like, I, I finally, like, reasoned with them and they, they stopped being so crazy, at least for now? This is, like, the worst design ever. It's literally the worst design ever. Yeah, that didn't work at all. I don't know what what I don't know what I was trying to do here. But what whatever it was didn't work. That's all I know. Put 
a door there. Like a, a good, like a solid door, you know? A strong door. he had a study he's got a study oh no that was the mayor oh god okay hold on it's not a very good study but I mean it's better than no study at all right just saying he needs a royal dining room and Jesus ten chests five cabinets who needs that many nobody needs that many Nobody needs that many. That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. I'm offended. This king's being a little ridiculous. I make a cabinets, I guess. Rock coffer, sure. There we go. What was the... I want to know... Where they put the... put a statue somewhere somewhere nice Gotta make all those first. How do you make it like a royal whatever? Like he's got a bedroom, but how do I make it a, a royal bedroom? You know? You don't. You just make it really nice and they go, oh, thanks. Uh, throne, throne, anything thrown? No. I think they just gotta turn it into a throne on their own. Maybe. Resume. Jesus. Alright, next time I'm mining everything out and doing my correct route because I was like, I don't like building in perfect circles or perfect squares. I want to do something cool and uh, and I'm using this playthrough as like, I've never made it this far before, so just let me use it as a chance to learn what not to do, you know? How to not, you know, have a, a run of a, run a fortress. Let me make mistakes. All right, we got a nice... Oh, I did do it. Okay, dining... Oh, oh, dang it. Dining hall, this guy. For the king. For the king! Can you do more than one? The baron? No. For the king. His dining hall is the most glorious. Like, why does that one look like that? with the weird symbols beside it, but then this one just is normal. They look relatively the same, but they're, but they're not. 
And I'd really like to know, like, Alunite and Alunite, what do, what do those symbols actually mean? Is it a quality thing? Like, I would love to know. I would really love to know. Oh, well, well, I guess you get smooth floors. Oh my God, this is not even remotely, this is hilarious. Like, I honestly cannot believe it's that bad. <laughs> oh God. It's fine. Sounds like a song uh, from Ragnarok. You're right, actually, Pep. It really does. Definitely something you could play on Ragnarok. No doubt. Ooh, my animals are eating up my stuff. I need to farm them out here. Make a leather backpack. Let's just do like three. Just a few. Just, just a few. Nothing, nothing crazy. Nothing too insane. Ram wool, horse hair. this actually it's not terribly dangerous but that a shot and then I need to build a little you know like tower entrance basically who's blood Dan Lee who what and where I oh 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 what is that what is that Who's he fighting, Mr. Armadillo? Is somebody hunting the armadillo boar? Because he seems quite distressed. Maybe not. I don't know. Oh, what's that? What happened? Oh no. My surgeon is taken by a fey mood. I can't have this, guys. There's too many people. It's going, people going insane. I'm not ready. I'm just trying to build a throne room, man. And it's like the ugliest throne room uh, known to man.
Really? I need to look up how to make bars. Prison bars. A dwarf fortress. Drive safe, Sabretooth. Get where you're going in one piece. Jail. Constructing a jail is simple. Construct a few... Rest Wait, what did you say? Build a few restraints, restraints such as metal cages, chains, and ropes, then designate them as jail cells. Huh. Let's see. A jail is... They are designed from a constructed restraint or metal cage. them as designate them as jail sale dungeon right here can be incarcerated at a chain or metal cage in the dungeon zone i'm wondering maybe i put a big rock door here and then put uh, a rope and a chain and a metal constraint in each one right Right? I think. Let's try it. Doors. Doors. Select. Boom. Big basalt doors. Boom. Um. And then you just place them. lead cages and that way they're in a cell behind the door but you know what we gotta designate a sheriff playing Dark Souls. Are you playing the first uh, Dark Souls? The very first one? I've heard oftentimes the, that they say the first Dark Souls is the hardest one. Um, and then Bloodborne. But then some people say no, it's actually Bloodborne. Um, which I could, I could see, honestly, either way. Because it is a brutal game series. I played Dark Souls 3 and I played Bloodborne. And They were, listen, I beat Bloodborne. I did not beat the DLC, all right? But I still did good, I thought. Decent, you know, enough, I thought. <laughs> um, let's make, like, a sheriff hall, right? Constructions wall so the this i'm gonna put this here just so i can see it like and and be able to oh my god look at all the basalt i have i need to finish these this is great
Okay. Now we want a nice little room for our sheriff and our hammerer who is like the enforcer which is a really cool job so you can have a sheriff but a sheriff needs a um he needs a muscle man you know he needs somebody to to help make sure he can do the job you know what i'm saying Oh, the Orsa Vision, thank you. Here we go, here we go. He oh, look at that precious face. I love when you tell them to build and they all just like go look crazy. Again? One. One, two, three, four, five. I see at least five. All right, y'all, I gotta use the bathroom real quick. We're gonna come back. We're gonna fight some gobbies. Apparently it is goblin war time here. God dang it. All right, give me just, just a second. I need a quick bathroom break, stretch my legs. Uh, is my coffee, how's my coffee doing? It's done. This is ridiculous. This game has been doing nothing but trying to kill me from the moment I started. It was even before I started streaming. And we'll blame Orson for it, but it did happen while we were trying to do his photo shoot. All right? But, oh, God. It's going to be fine. Give me just a quick moment. This is a great chance. Leave a like on the video. Get up, have a nice stretch, grab a snack. Um... Fold some laundry. I don't care. Do something productive while I wait. All right. So give me just like two minutes.
Well, we taking bets, guys? Are the goblins gonna do us in? Kinda wish they would, like, save me from my suffering of, uh, my bad building designs. But, you know, I'm not sure it will. Um, let's go assign stay. Okay. Okay. We've got, yeah, at least, at least four, one, two, three, four, five, sorry, at least five. They're way up here. We gotta put our... <sighs> Summon our people up here. Up. I, I need to set my... When I build a new place, I need to set burrows so that I can have everyone retreat behind, like, a safe point. Alright, we got these guys defending up here. Come on, where's our crossbowmen? Listen, we're pretty tough, okay? Ah, there they come. I love how you can watch them approach. Kind of terrifying, actually. I love that there's just a huge party going on down underground, but up here, our brave little dwarves are preparing. <sighs> Prepare for battle! They need to leave my livestock alone, I know that for sure. That's right, fight, fight, fight! Fuck them all! That's right. Mm. That's three down. Where are the others? It all happened so quickly! <laughs> They're like, ah! One, two, three. Where's the rest? They better not be sneaking in my base some other way. There's more! Oh shit! There are a lot more! Oh no! One, two, three at least? Oh god, one, two, three, four, five, five more? What? Fight! Oh damn, homie is charging him. Hey, why are you having a love story with him? What's going on? Oh god, they're fighting! Oh Jesus! I do wish the combat was more like RimWorld. That's where when I say RimWorld is more like a game, I, I mean it. They definitely gamified the fighting. Okay, we are winning. You kind of just have to let it go and just see who's left standing. It all happens too quickly. You can pull up the logs and do the same thing, but... But it's not the same. Okay! I think we did it, everybody! 
gross. Ugh. Okay. How many did we- we didn't lose a single dwarf and or human. Not a single one. I, my confidence is getting way too high, y'all. Like, way too high. I keep thinking, like, whoop, that's it. Like, whoop, we're done. Like, nope, we're not. Not yet. I love the sound of the rain. What's up, Alex? Happy New Year! How's it going? So far for you. On this fine year. So, also, a quick Google search revealed to me um, that if you put them in the... Oh, hello, me the man. Boy, why you a droolins? Oh, why you a droolins, boy? Hmm? Oh, my goodness. You smell like outside, sir. You smell like outside. Oh, has he been sunning? Did we go on a little sunning uh, adventure? Hmm. Look at this. This is the worst throne room of all time. It, it just is cracking me up. You need, you can do, if you put them in the cages, that's what I was going to say. If you put them in the cages, they can't, they are stuck in the cage. Only if someone comes by and gives them things that they need, will they stay alive. And that includes water and food. Um, they also get incredibly unhappy from being cramped in the cage. So I'm not sure, actually, that I want this right now. But what I'm going to do is I found that the the chain, like, so you make the rope and the chain. I, do I have to make that? And you can, they can move in a, the squares around the rope and the chain. I need to make a, a workshop first. Hmm. Which one can make that? Now, obviously, I can make some iron chain. Let's just type it in chain. N no. Trap components, iron. Huh. I love that you can make just crazy trap components. 
other objects. Iron. Ch -ch -ch chain. Ch -ch -ch chain. Ch -ch -ch chain. <laughs> Where is the chain? Not the kiln, not the glass furnace, but the chain. I thought I had a treat up there, but I do not. He's just remembering it from before. For a big treat. I mean, I had a little treat, but not a big treat. Oh, man. Listen. It makes... It gives me a lot more confidence that we were able to survive these sieges. Now, granted, they're goblins... We're dwarves, you know, we're, when trained properly, we should absolutely not have a problem, you know, do, taking care of that. All right, the rooster. I really want them to butcher any, any animals we lost, like, please just butcher so that we don't lose them. This guy's making ash. The soap, Mr. Soapman. I love that we finally have soap. I wonder how much soap sells for. Forge iron chain. Let's do like five of them. Boom. might I'm gonna remove this I might turn this into actual living quarters I know I know it's like wait weren't those supposed to be jail cells yes but let me just maybe it's more important that we get some better living quarters and make the jail cell Poor boy, why are you crying up there? Why are you crying? You're not missing out on anything, I promise. I promise, boy. We were just up there. You saw everything that was happening. You, you're not missing. Sometimes I think he thinks his cousins are having a party without him. But then... But he doesn't want them to come down here either, right? But if there's too much fun happening upstairs, that's also not okay in his mind. So the boy, you know, he got a lot he got a lot going on. Wait, where's my basalt? Basalt. Oh, there it is.
the one that you just selected should be at the top. I don't think I'm strange for, for wanting that. I don't think that's a big ask at all. And then having to scroll. I, there, that's what I'm saying. There's got to be better ways for this than what I'm doing. Like, I understand the mechanics of what is necessary. There's got to be better. Like, come on. Need a bed. Okay. Man, I woke up this morning feeling so, it was so wonderful to feel rested. And, and it was 100% a choice. I chose to make my bedtime the same time it always is. And yes, I, you know, missed out on celebrations of various types that were going on all over the place you know any of them it would have been you know there was actually probably several things i could have done for new year's which um and i have done stuff in the past but this year i really just wanted to get rest i wanted to um that feeling of like oh knowing you can get in bed and that you can actually stay there for a while i don't have to have an alarm clock screaming at me to get me up. I do still set an alarm, mainly for the dogs so they don't start to panic um, when I'm not, if I'm not up to feed them by like eight. Rarely I will sleep later than that, but rarely. For the most part, it's not a, not a problem at all. When left to my own, you know, devices as far as how late I will stay. Uh, or sorry, how late I will sleep. Staying up, it's just not worth it for me, man. It's just not worth it. For me, personal choice, you know? I can't, I can't hang. It affects me too much. I'm so much less productive in general life when I don't get enough sleep. And I, I don't like that feeling. This is the weirdest shaped room ever. I don't really know how to make a throne room either. I don't know if they just do it or if mm! woke up, I put on my comfiest, coziest, a new favorite outfit. Just cause you want something that's got like that perfect fit. It's the perfect temperature. I was, you know, pretty sure a 
after looking at my schedule that I wanted to stream. I knew I wanted to stream. Um, but I also knew RJ was streaming, doing his Sunday morning uh, coffee in his underwear. And I didn't want to, you know, I didn't want to, I didn't want to interfere with all of that. This is ridiculous. Also, why is no one smoothing these? They gotta be doing something else, huh? Oh, they're working on that, I think. We need more doors, more rock doors. Of, va of various types, totally fine, doesn't really matter what kind. wheelbarrow I need to move the flooring out on top of this, like over it, so that if anything tries to jump down onto like whatever, you know what I'm saying? Like that they just fall in the lava. That's what we got to make sure happens. They, f oh, they fall in the lava that's what we want that's all that's all that's all Ooh, the schist perfect this should actually be enough Even look at that. Well, would you look at that? They're going to build the flooring out over the lava here. Oh my god. You finally built the freaking traction benches, y'all. What, what took so long? What could have possibly taken so long? Why 
did that take so long? I don't understand. No doors. Um, furniture, cabinets. Let's do these, set these as bedrooms first things first. Gotta do it individual. Don't do what I did the first time and make, like, just go and make the whole thing because it don't work like that. And I'm gonna leave them uh, un, un, whatever named right now Do we have any doors no no literally no doors it's fine oh let's see what well, we got chests furniture chests so many coffers what it's the same thing though isn't it a coffer a chest a coffer a chest right it's the same thing. It, it operates as the same thing, I, I think. But I'm, if I'm being honest, I'm not sure. They, they all have it. They need more. Then these guys also need more. These guys have nothing. figure out how Thank you. 
This is me simply trying to hit the numbers of what I need for my uh, my king. Oh wait, did you steal? You did. This is the king's. Stop that. The Baron tried to take this dining room. I don't think so. Now I might give him the other half. Might not be a bad idea. I'm like, why is he so unhappy? He needs a royal mausoleum. Well, maybe we make that... Oh. Here. It's perfect. Right? We go. Wall. One. It's going to be a little cramped in there. Like that. And then leave that center piece open right there. That looks like a good idea. And we'll place a bur uh, uh, burial slab, right? Yeah, right there. Needs coffin. Oh, whoops. Did we run out of them? Mm, I guess we did. Make rock coffin. We'll make uh, five. But make them out of obsidian because we bougie like that. Now I think I also have the slabs, but you've got to wait until you engrave those and not screw up like I already did. You know what? Four. Let's make a closet. Closet for everyone to use. Uh oh, am I running out of wood? Yup. Hmm. 32. What do I have? Okay, we'll do it in a second. Let me chop down some trees. Oh god. Let's try not to kill our animals, please. Chop down these trees real quick. Trees grow back pretty quick. I do like that about living in this biome. I can't see myself getting around needing wood and trees just yet. I'm too uh, too dependent on that. Uh oh. Wait a second. How did the how did the gra how did that happen? This needs to be a wall. I mean, whoa, actually, whoa is right. I'm sorry. 
cancel the orders. My bad, guys. Oh my god, Lord and mercy. They've been standing out there like, oh my god, I'm the worst. I'm the worst. My poor, poor soldiers. No wonder they're so angry at me. I cannot believe I did that to those poor, poor soldiers. Okay, they flatten all that out. Like this. Wait, oh, nope, down one. There we go. Okay. We need to tighten this up a little bit. Now, I shouldn't have the problem of them dropping in on my little forge area. Because the goblins were trying. They, they were doing their best. We're not going to allow that. This is, nope, not going to happen. Not going to happen. How long would it take for Orsi to throw you out of bed if you skip breakfast? Does he have patience? Um until about 8.30 or 9 and then he gets up and he goes and he sits at the top of the stairwell and cries and scratches for someone to oh, did I kill my mic? No. Uh, cries and scratches for someone to let him up. The problem is when I'm the only one here no one ever lets him up and you just it's just you know never ending scratching on the door and, and cry. It's the crying for me guys that I just can't just can't handle man he's too too pitiful it's impossible to ignore it's absolutely impossible to ignore and I don't know what to do like you know that's just it's what I it's what I ended up with is it is a little spoiled baby it's so funny you know because Shayna always talked ha about how Stannis was so, like, spoiled in comparison to Puppy. And to be fair, she's not wrong. Stannis is so spoiled. And it was always just so funny to me to see the different personality of, like, spoiled little, little Stanny boy who was also just, like, scared of everything. And, like, he really was, like, boy in the bubble. Dang, this iron. Yeah, this thing goes way back. I'm never gonna get in this vein. Oh my god, we have way too many people. My surgeon has gone stark raving mad. Oh god, you know what? We need our we need it soon. These got turned into bedrooms. Whoops. 
let's finish, let's at least just finish it what we did. Okay. I love how I'm gonna have one pink door. <laughs> uh, put the bedroom here. Okay. Chest. Everybody, nope, no chest. Okay. Uh, what else we got? Cabinet. Let's see what we got cabinet wise. Cabinet. Everyone got a cabinet? Good. Ooh. Okay, no more cabinets, no more chests. Uh, let's see. Mr. King, how, what, what, what more do you need? Oh, you need your personal mausoleum. Okay. I don't know how to make a royal dining room into a dining, like... That's what I don't, I need to look up. How do you make... The Baron also needs, like, a lot. We got no doors. It's getting out of hand, y'all. Things are getting out of hand. Personal tomb. I think I hear the Roomba having a struggle upstairs, having quite the struggle. This is what I've noticed. The more bedrooms you make, the more dwarves show up. If you build the bedrooms, they show up. Cabinet. Coffer. iron grate that can work as flooring if I'm not mistaken get these guys to wear the metal armor and I don't know why I have it. I have large and I, I'm pretty sure I have it sized for humans. But for whatever reason they don't they don't want to use it. Okay, that. Why is she naked and thirsty? That's not good. That's not good at all. That is not good. We have so much basalt. I love it. Uh, let's take that out. Take this out. Take that out. 
And then we'll build out. I'm gonna make this impossible for anything. Well, I mean, it's not gonna be impossible, but a, a lot harder for things to climb up. I understand the how to make them not climb over, but it just gets kind of. It's hard to see every possible um, place where they can sneak in, you know? It really is. Oh, man. So many. Our surgeon went completely insane. That's actually not good. You know? That's just really not good. He's our surgeon... I don't know. Is he crazy? But who... he He's a different surgeon, I think. Right? I'll take a talented... An accomplished. Ooh. Another doctor. Oh, a competent bone doctor. Let's do that. Competent. No. Tal Ooh. Even better. So we've got... I want a doctor that's not our baron, preferably. That'd be great. Um... There we go. Wait. Our king, our king cannot be a bone doctor. I'm sorry. He just, he can't. Nor can the Baron. They've got other things they gotta do. Alright? But we have one of each, at least. Bone doctor, one. Two surgeons, two diagnosticians, and two doctors. All of those are different jobs. We've got soap, buckets. The only thing I need are powder for casts. I need to look up how to make the powder... For Cass. I know you make it from gypsum, but I don't have any gypsum. So if you don't have gypsum, then how do you do it? That is the question. Um, that, that is the million dollar question. Furniture. Cabinet. Has someone already taken these? Taken it, taken it, taken it, taken. Boy, they move in quick. You need two beds in here, huh? I think that's how it works. chests, five cabinets. Jesus. Do I make it a regular meeting area, or what? Or do I just make the dining hall huge and put everything in there? Oh, cancel, 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 cancel. Wait, why is it, why is it overlapping? Overlapping dining hall, where? Just remove, let's just start fresh. Dining hall. This is the worst shaped throne room I think I've ever seen. It's fine. Because I think I can put everything in there. Or 
or let me just try something one more time. We'll do a meeting area, but we'll make it like a private meeting area. And see if that allows me like to turn it into something else. Except make it Oh god, no, it doesn't at all. So you can't make it a private meeting area. A chair or a throne. Oh, I wonder if you need that. Like a big office. Let's just do office. Oops. And then we'll we'll do this. And we'll make it for the king specifically. We have to take like the bookshelves and and stuff like that. We need multiple bookshelves, multiple chests. Hi, puppy. Hi, puppy. You wanna come up here, say hello. You wanna come up here, say hello. Where are you going? I look at you. You run away. What is that, Bowie? I wanna snugs. I wanna show off the snugs. Come on now. are doing nice still kind of cleaning these bad boys up do what do all these do this is crazy I know what hammerer is so I don't even have a sheriff anymore we've moved up from that I think it's captain of the guard or this guy Ooh. okay he needs an office several other things as well. And Captain of the Guard. That's his office right here. And what else did he need? The dining... I want 
I'm I may try to make it so that it wouldn't be a bad idea to have like the pri I keep saying that those private dining rooms here. Let's see. Path, wall, floor. Like that. Boom, floor. And it just gives me a nice open private wait wall inside private dining room one private dining room two private dining room dining hall three and private dining hall four I think that's not a bad uh, strategy right there. Now this, I like. This, this I, I do really like. I think this might actually work. Because they start really needing the, the private areas. But I also don't want to put them super far away from where the tavern is. Because um, then it's a pain. It's too far to travel. You know, building like designs that make sense is really hard. I'm not, I'm such a novice builder in this game. It's really like kind of, kind of blows my mind a little bit at how much I have to learn when it comes to that. Um, but it's also kind of exciting because it's fun. It makes me want to just keep trying new things. And just see if it works. Like, kind of think it's safe to say the throne room did not work for me. At least not digging it out like that. That was a very poor way to try and dig it out. And I don't e I It doesn't even seem like it's very, uh, I don't know, like fortified or whatever. So I'm kind of not too crazy about that. But that's the only way I'll learn that is to do it and be like, oh yeah, that didn't work. Same with building on top of the surface. Like, that was dumb. I should dig really deep. That way I can seal up. And I need to start using bridges to seal in my one way in, one way out. Because what I'm doing, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, it's not gonna end well. It is not gonna end well. I'm certain of it. Oh yeah, I was gonna do a freaking... <sighs> Whoa, who's vomiting, bruh? Oh lord, somebody having a hard time. God, 22. Let's throw down the day site blocks here. Oh my God. What the heck is going on? This is going to be a little cabinet room for our so maybe these people will stop putting all their clothes in places I think I'm realizing every room needs a cabinet, a wardrobe so that they don't um, leave their clothes everywhere like horribly Sir Buddy is here for the stream Bork Bork, I love it always makes me happy when animals get to oh, oh Oh my god, the surgeon who went insane dehydrated himself. It's when they go crazy, it's like you can't do anything with it, man. But we gotta bury him. Oh yeah, we definitely gotta bury him. Make sure he gets a good proper funeral and engraving. Where's it at? Engraving. That's not him. Who's that? Engraved, engraved. No slab. I think that was him, Sibrick, that guy. I don't know who that is. But I want him to engrave one and then we can bury. Yeah, we about to need more tombs like right now. Might as well like start building them, carving them out, huh?
early summer. I cannot believe we've survived this long. I've never had this many dwarves. 111? Are you kidding? Excuse me, everyone. I need to go figure out how Orson got upstairs. Because I didn't open the door. And I'm pretty sure I hear this of a little Orsi boy. And that doesn't make any sense at all. At all. So I'm going to go check on that and... Uh, I'll be right back. Yes, we are on year nine. No, four. So we started in year five. And we are at year nine right now. So more than that. Give me just a couple minutes, guys. I need to go check on my dog.
I'm back, everybody. I was mistaken. I thought I heard this, but it was either cats or it was the Roomba that got something. Um, but I let all the doggies out, have a nice bathroom break. Um, all is well. Or he stole a yak chew that I'm pretty sure wasn't his uh, and has brought it down here and is burying it currently. I'm going to clear off some of these things. I'm not going to lie, guys. I've been trying to pretty much, like, I don't want to say kill my fortress, but I've been pushing hard. And I'm failing. I'm just straight up failing. We got... Oh, hi, boy. Thank you for the weebies. Um, ooh, I will probably wrap up relatively soon. Oh, God. But this was exactly what I would want a first stream of the year to be. I'm pretty sure I said, like, the same thing last year. I think I did something kind of similar. And it feels... It feels nice to, to start the year away that I want to. Doing something that feels good, putting energy into. Was it this guy? No, who's in there? Sibrek. We don't have Sibrek done yet, do we? Oh man, I'm so glad I could help, Sabretooth. Listen, happy, happy, happy to be a road trip buddy. Happy to be uh, entertain you while you're in the shower. Happy to entertain you while you're doing whatever it is you gotta do. That, you know, maybe you could just use a little entertainment while doing it. That's what I want my channel to be, seriously. And obviously, yes, live streams are, you know, so fun to be a part of. And that's obviously the perk of, like, becoming a member. So you could chat in the live stream, and so you can be a part of that. But let us not forget those of you that are lurking in the Lurker's Lagoon. Um, and maybe not even a, a full-on member yet. But I still consider you guys hoodlums. So I don't like to say, like, oh, you're a hoodlum now that you became a member. I don't really think of it like that. Anybody that watches on the regular... Um, especially if you drop in likes and you leave in comments and you're engaging in all of the ways possible, you are a hoodlum through and through. There's just ain't no, there ain't no if ands or buts about it. All right, you are a part of this. However, you know, I do want those of you that become members to know that it is incredibly helpful having you support my channel in this way. So thank you. These are going to be like public cabinets, you know? And I'm going to expand like this. Boy, did you just cry? Are you crying at me? Oh, dang it. What the heck? Oh, why is it being weird? Oh, weird. Really weird. <laughs> you hear someone go, hey, <laughs> hey. We'll put these cabinets in here, and then they're and they're like, you know, they're like public, public property, right? It's kind of cool. Yeah, Morgan, hello, how are you? You, you and Sabretooth are gonna be reunited in mere hours. Very exciting. I hope you guys have a wonderful time. More blue tanks. We love blue tanks. Um, in fact, oh dang, Sabertooth, thank you so much. That is so awesome, Sabertooth. Five gifted memberships, five bomb, as Mia calls it. I really appreciate that. It is 
so fun, I think, to get to do that for those of you that are lurking in the lagoon. You're just like minding your own business, just lurking in the lagoon. And then next thing you know, you're a member, right? You're like, what? I didn't even, what? I don't even, and you know what I want to say? It's totally fine. It's totally fine. You don't, uh, you don't have to worry about it, all right? It's all been taken care of, courtesy of Sabretooth, because he's a real one. So thank you, Sabretooth. Really appreciate that. Now, let's see if I can... Uh-oh. Oh. I don't have any more slabs, I don't think. Do I? I don't think I do. I don't think I have a blank slab. I think that's the problem. Hey, what are you chewing? Sir? 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 Oh my god, my animals are getting out of control! I'm spinning out of control! Out of control! Anybody remember that one? I thought it was so cool for like a second. Boy, that is metal. You don't chew metal. You chew the yak chew. You chew the bone. You chew the toy. You chew a ball. You chew any, almost anything else except metal. I don't understand. <sighs> I don't. I don't understand. Nope. Whoa. You, boy. Why are you crying? Why are you crying? Cause, cause your ball's under there, boy. But when your ball's under there, chewing on the metal part of the desk is not gonna get you your ball. It just does. It's not how it works. I don't know. Like, it's just. It's not. I'm sorry, boy. That's not how it works. I know. Life's hard. It is hard being a boy. We know this. Okay. We know. But you are the best of boys. The bestest. What's it feel like to be so good of a boy, boy? Hmm? 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 Brrrr. Brrrr. I have an idea. Boy, do you need me to check and see is it that there's the ball under there and you just and needs what it wants? Him just need his ball. Is that what it is, boy? Is that what it is? Okay, hold on. Let's see. What do we got, boy? What do we got, boy? He said, I know my happy and mad. Him, mad. Let me see. he know he's a, a world star I think he does I think he does he absolutely knows he's fully aware boy you drop that and you run it under there you're gonna be you know exactly what you're doing oh god alert oh cool a caravan all right 
Damn, that's a big old caravan. Sweet. This is the ugliest fort ever. Like, the ugliest. Uggy. Very, very uggy. See what we can sell. Boy, you threw it under there again. Now look at what you did. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Boy, that is not a place to play. Do you understand? Yes. Ow, 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 ow. Now, don't try to drop that. I, I'm on to you, boy. I'm, yes, I'm on to you. I'm on to you. Give me that. I have to just sit here and hold it so that he doesn't, you know. Dang, soap's not very profitable. That's unfortunate. Bear, bear. What's in the bar block bin? A gem bin. Okay. We'll, we'll put it. 10,000? What? Am I rich? Am I actually rich now? Is that what's this happening? Holy moly. Blocks. Oh, look at, like, a bunch of this stuff that I, I know I gotta figure out. Like, all that wool. I wish I had a better organized uh, uh, supply chain and could make better better sense of it. Let's perhaps sell that. Chains. How much for those chains? Damn, iron chain pretty expensive. I like that. Sell it. Now, <clears throat> these these can go. Except for that one. Okay. Got it all sold. Let's do dining hall. One. Okay. Stop. <laughs> Who else needs the giant dining room? Um, <clears throat> first, probably the the. How does he not have a dining room? The king. Who who keeps stealing his dining room? This is for the king. This, this is your, this is not a meager dining room. Don't insult me. Don't insult me. This is your office. Kind of sucks, if I'm being honest, but. We can also place this slab beautiful uh, I'm not sure if these guys can get oh, up here because they honestly they had a wagon how much you want to bet they can't get up to my base unless there's like a long way around that I'm not aware of Is this it? Where are they at? Like, obviously up here. Oh my god, they made it! I'm impressed. 
Well, we're still unloading. Yeah, I'm amazed you guys even made it up here. Because they were saying you need a road. That if you want, like, trade to happen, that you have to have a road. And it has to be three wide. So I really, 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 really want to understand bridges, levers, water, um, and, and fully, like, I want to build it like a castle. But it's so hard to do to, like, stay within the confines and not, uh, you know, leave these, like, weak spots where you just dig out stuff and then have these giant rainbow roofs like this. Ooh, ooh, you know what we need? Eighteen. This is bad because it's not well fortified, I guess, would be the way to put it. We need to work on that. What? Here we go. Damn, that cage is worth so much. We're gonna put it first and then we're gonna just take everything we can. Ooh. That, that reminds me of the Gwent song. Jesus. I would love to know the difference between the white and the yellow on your selling list. If this means it's damaged or what. Like, there's all these little things that I, I know mean something, but I don't know what it means. And that's where it gets problematic. I need to know these things. I'm afraid they're going to ask me to trade some stuff I don't want to trade, but we'll see. Need a, an alpaca? Oh, I would love an alpaca. But I have so many animals, it's ridiculous. I don't know what the bee venom. I wonder what the bee venom does. Uh, I'll take a mace. I'll take a pick. I'll take a sword. I'll take a flail. Large bronze breastplate. Large goose leather armor. Hyena cloak. I got the shield. We don't need that. I don't need that. I don't really need any of the that stuff. I think I have, honestly, enough leather, but I'm going to get just a little bit more. Just cause. Why not? Cause we have the money. I ain't I ain't gonna let them walk rob me. I'm trading this epic thing. Yeah, right now his profit is twenty one thousand. So I'm like, basically, all the stuff that I can that he has for sale, I want to. I want to take. The bins. We'll take. Ooh, we are low on food, so let's just take all that. I'll take all this food. Hope you don't need it. 
The fishies too, thank you. Oh yeah. Very nice. Maybe maybe all this too? Why not? We're gonna free up all that weight you got. God dang, so much food. don't need the axe blade. I'm not gonna trade these guys this stuff. Absolutely not. No way. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Dad, what are you doing? What do you think you're doing? Huh? What? just too valuable. I actually don't like this. Making it really hard. Oh boy, your little nose is so cold and sweet. How's that so pre- How are you so precious, boy? How are you so precious all the time? You know? That, that I don't understand. Just the sweetest. The sweetest. Alright, well I'm gonna take pretty much everything I can. that I don't, you know, need. Take that. Puzzle boxes, thank you. Um, don't need any of those barrels. Take the breastplate just cause. I'm gonna take all of it. Shields, you know, all, all of that. Because look, we're, they're gonna have such a massive profit margin. Can't be having that. So I, I'll even take the stuff that I do have and don't need them to do. Like, all of it, all of it, all of it. All the fish, all the plants, all the leaves and fruit, more leaves and fruit. Sure, let's take the thread, why not? Sure, we'll take the backpacks, why not? I don't need that. Now cheese, I could, I'm, I'm fine. Now, but these fancy splints, yeah, I'll take. Crutches, yeah, I'll take. Jugs, hand it here. A fancy die, I'll take it. And some parchment. I want to build a library next time. I want to work and use all of the workshops and crafting that I haven't done at all. Because I'm, I just want to see how deep the crafting can go in this game. Listen. <sighs> Homie, y'all, y'all are getting away with murder. I mean, I guess I could take a big bunch of cheese. Why not, right? Doesn't it last? Cheese lasts pretty good while. There we go. 2,000 worth of cheese. That's a 10,000. Uh, that's a huge like a, a profit margin on their part. So we're gonna say, okay, but I'm taking like so much stuff. So I should be all right, trade. The sheens of a authoring is a great treasure. Yeah, I gave you my great treasure box. They seem ecstatic with the trading, good. Good. Now. Everyone just needs to unlo unload everything. Ooh, someone became a wrestler. They want to, they are following in the footsteps of Odom.
everybody just move the, the trade goods, move it all down. Dang, is that a stingray? Yeah, it is. All right, what do we got? Kitchen. Let's make lavish meals. Let's make like 50 of those. I think that's a good idea. Sounds like a good idea to me. This, oh yeah, we got lots of drinks still coming here. Oh my god, I have so much food. It's insane. Oh god. There's a way to set stuff like... Oh no. He's claimed the Magma Forge. Great. As, you know what? As long as he makes something grand, I'm fine with it. I feel like I'm... I'm probably... Oh my god. I love... That a stray cat... A stray cat! Adopted a dwarven child. Now that is spectacular. A stray cat adopted a dwarven child. That's just glorious. I can't. I can't. Who's got a meager dime? He's got a kind of a one. It's fun. My, our Baron, though, he needs a decent one. I need all of this put to the top. You know what else I want to do? I just want to dig deep. I, I, I really just want to, like, see just how deep we can actually take this. Now, you may say I'm trying to kill my dwarves, but I'm not. I'm just, I'm pushing against the game so that it pushes back. And we can maybe, I don't know, discover something new. This isn't even like, neg we're, okay, n this is elevation negative two. So we're two floors below sea level here. That's why I was kind of hoping I'd find water somewhere on this level. It's really disheartening that I've not found it. Let's just do something fun. Down, down, down. Negative 20. Oh, negative 40. There. Negative 50 is as deep as I've gone. So let's, let's go down to 100. And maybe we can find some caverns, y'all. That's, that's what I'm hoping for. You know, cab ca uh, caverns or balrogs or, you know, any of those things, really. All right, they're working on it. Somebody's on their way to work on it. That's what that means. Hey, you know what? We're actually doing pretty good with a lot of people very, very happy. I'm pretty impressed. All right, let's hope this guy doesn't, you know, run into a Balrog while he's down here by himself. I hate that I can't find any more water than this. And it's supposed to be a light aquifer. Like, that's what I don't understand. Ooh, he created a iron male shirt. A magical one. Hey, sounds great to me. See, I don't mind when they have that if they cre if they have what they need to craft what they want. But when they don't, then things like the surgeon going crazy happens. And that's no good. No good at all. 
Nil, where are you? Why aren't you working on any of this? I got too many animals. And I'm not really, it's because I can't stand to do any, I can't even stand to like harvest the animals I have. It hurts me. It makes me sad. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. I don't want to be sad. Oh, Jesus. do I want? Not really plump helmets. But in, in the winter and in the spring. No. Uh, dang it. We'll do quarry seeds, quarry seeds, quarry seeds. When, when we get the the stuff. I, they, I love that they're fertilizing. This is very helpful. But I can't seem to keep any... I need to figure out... I know... I finally figured out how to keep your plump helmets. Oh! <gasps> did it just crash? Oh my god, it did. No. Just this. Oh my god. saves uh, at the beginning of every season. But I don't know when it was. Oh my god. It's way further back than I wanted it to be. Eh, not terribly. A, a little bit further back than I wanted it to be. Oh my god, way further back than I wanted it to be. I can't believe the game crashed. I'm kind of surprised. Back when our guy got found dead and I, oh my god, all of the fucking trading. fine so it looks like it was maybe 20 minutes ago or so not not the worst uh, but not great oh no what happened here who's dying there a rotten honey badger corpse get that thing out of here what who, who who did that Thanks, dwarves. I needed this. I'll hit a couple of the things that I know I wanted to get. 
Hey, I can't even be mad at it after that. So good. That's right. Okay. So it's not too bad, but it was far enough that it kind of took the wind out of my sails. All right. We are, Lord, our poor little living quarters here. Rough. Um, but it's just the most ridiculous. I think I need to stick to building in squares until I get a better method to prevent this from happening. And yes, eventually they will clear the rocks out, especially as they use it. Um, same here. But that's the thing, if, if you just dig straight into the rock, rocks gotta go somewhere. And for me, it's down here where they're working frantically, making blocks. Uh, but, oh man, I didn't set him to down. Um, Let's go down. I'm gonna set that to go just so you know when it's time. Down. Down all the way. Ooh. Let's go. Whoa. Wow. That is under the magma. Oh, what? It won't let me go any lower than that. Is that the bottom? Interesting. God, wouldn't it be sick to build a thing under the volcano that would be amazing actually and I could eventually like abandon all this like surface crap just trap it and leave it for people to like get uh, caught up trying to explore you know what I'm saying I needed that tavern song I, I said I was Yes, I didn't expect to go past four anyway. Um, but I really hate that I didn't get that. Or that that save that it crashed on me, man. That's so sad. Like, really? This guy. I, I do feel like I'm doing a pretty good job with my catacombs. I understand kind of what I need and what works because they, they they definitely it seems to be working. Um, oh, one! I'm gonna do this. Just one more thing. Rawr. I love that sound. Rawr. We need Bruh. 
rock tables. But like 20 of them. Oh, and there's the doggies. Woo, 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 woo. They leave just random buckets around too. I don't really know. Oh, the human caravan. You know what? This tells me that maybe the same thing would arrive. Remember when I said that? Cause, uh, but no, those are caravans. So I think those were set on their way regardless. Although. <laughs> I discovered a magma pool? A great magma sea? <gasps> Where? I need to go deep. I must see. Wait, what's over here? Oh. Go, 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 go. Okay, wait. So here is where the deepest we've dug. And then I started going deeper, deeper, deeper. No, actually, no. 50 was where the deepest. And then we go deep. Now we're getting down there. Oh yeah, now we're going. Negative 90. Negative 100. <gasps> whoa, whoa, a goblin cap cap. What's that? Whoa, this looks crazy. <gasps> a big old magma sea. What is this? What is this? Cave moss? Oh my god. Freaking water, finally! Oh my god. Okay, I gotta figure out how to not get got. Oh, there's just a hole. Uh oh. Did my dwarf fall? Did he fall down here? I need to make sure I did not fall. Because that is a hole in the ground right there. Well, that's a fun thing to end on. Ta-da! So you just gotta dig deep. We got mushrooms. We got cave moss. We got a whole lake. Oh yeah, this is good. Y'all, it might be worth it to attempt. Like, moving everything down. Everything. Now I don't know how my, I think you have to would run a ramp. I'd have to run like a spiral ramp all the way down if I wanted traders to be able to get down here. Or you have a thing at the top where they handle all that, secure it. This is cool. It gives you like a whole new, um, it feels like, like a whole new aspect of the game just opens up. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's kind of wild. Like, not, not what I was expecting, necessarily. I mean, I, I knew there were caverns, but I didn't know it was going to open up like that. Like, that's very, like, oh, I have, like, a whole new uh, goal now. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, my God. Where's my bin? Where's the very special one? Bars, bags, no boxes, no cabinets, no cages, cages. Huh. The thing, the thing that I traded them, where did it go? Oh, there it is. Oh, it's only- what? I thought it was worth more than that. That seems odd. Mm. Not armor. There. That's 
things to trade with so I don't forget them. Awesome magma pool. I mean, I'm I'm not surprised. I think there's a hotkey to go to wherever the deepest place you've dug so far is. I just really, I wanted to see that. And what what did it, what, what was 10 around, I bet after you get below 100, I bet it gets kind of crazy. What I really gotta watch though is not that no gobbies find their way up in here. So I need to probably set a couple hatch covers as a deterrent. It would be really cool to move everything below, wouldn't it? I think so. I think it'd be really cool. Or next, see, this is where the game gets you. Cause like already next run, I'm like, ah, oh, but I want to do this, but I want to do that. And like, you start thinking about the next run before this one's even over. And it's kind of dangerous, but in other ways it's kind of good. Cause I'm less attached to this one. So I'm like, let's just try, let's just try, let's just see. And it, you know, becomes a whole thing. What a cool game. I can see that this game, why this game basically inspired. Did you know it went into like the gaming, like, um, history M museum, hall of fame, something, another, it, it was like a whole thing about, um, what happened? Oh shit. Somebody's been possessed. Please don't be possessed in a bad way. Please don't be possessed. Be the good possessed. We like good, good, good possessed. You know? You don't have to be bad possessed. Let's stick, stick it with the good. Hmm? Oh my god. Well. They're unloading. Alright, y'all. Lord down down into Goblin Town. <clears throat> it is exciting, I gotta say. I kinda wanna like try to keep these guys alive for the purpose of like just to explore further and further and further into the game. Yes, it's ugly. Yes, it is not optimal at all. Listen, I, I'm sure Dwarf Fortress vets would look at this base and just be like, ugh, like it hurts. There's so many weak points. There's all these places where it's like, I'm so surprised, like, I don't know. It's just not, it's not good, right? It's not built well. <laughs> There's all kinds of holes. Now, why am I getting cave moss there? How, how is that growing there when that's not been growing at all? And it's covered up. It, 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 that's what I don't understand. Like, I can't figure out if the best in these dirt layers if it's better to just avoid them altogether and go like dive down, get to the rock layers so that you can do this and smooth everything and make it a lot easier. Um, not you can smooth everything, but you also get all the blocks. Like I can see why it'd be a good thing, but then you also do need the dirt layers for growing. You know, I gotta plant, I gotta have some stuff. And I just, that's what I'm saying. I don't know what's best yet. I, I really want to figure it out though. Like I really do want to figure it out. We got no tablets. All right, guys. We had a nice little tavern song to end on. What a wonderful, beautiful way to start the new year with a ridiculous game. I'm so happy I found this game. I'm so happy I found this game. I'm not going to play it forever. So if there's people that were like, oh my God, is she going to play anything different? Yes, I will. I promise. Um, but as you guys learn, if you've been watching me for a while, we got to let it run its course. And right now the game has me hooked f because of the, um, the learning curve. I, I'm like just fiending to learn more about this game and see what I, to see what, I can do and what works.
to see how far uh, you know your your engineering ability and your planning ability. How far can you take it? Um, because it seems to reward you for the you know to be better and better and better at that stuff. You get very much rewarded for it. So it's very addictive. Um, but I want to thank you all for watching and supporting and today was unbelievable we had incredible support uh shout out again to dan lee dan lee uh he's a good guy <laughs> who's uh, very supportive and i'm very appreciative of that but i want everyone to know all of you every single member we had new members today we had gifted members today that is how this grows that is how it's done um, I'm very thankful to have such a wonderful supportive community because as I've said, you guys are like the soul of the community, okay? Nobody wants to be become a part of a community that they can look at and be like, it doesn't look like a very nice community, you know? Like, why would I, why would I want to be a part of that? And I'm glad you guys give people something that they're like, I want to be a part of that. And we can keep building it one person at a time. I've always believed quality over quantity when it came to building my channel and that is that is probably not what most people would tell you if they was like, you want to be successful on YouTube? That's probably not what they would tell you. Um, they they would say, get the subscribers, and if your content is good, they'll stay. Like, I don't know. I don't know. For me, I like doing what I do. People know what they're getting. They, they join the community and become comfortable with the expectation of what you get for your support. Like, and it's understood. And it's a, it's a two-way street, right? That's what I want to keep. I want to keep a two-way street for uh, everyone. Hoodlums, viewers, all of you. So, on that note, guys, have fun. Good point there, Robert. Have fun, Hoodlum Hangout. I love, you know, I, I talked about making friends on the internet just the other day. You know, I, I feel like I was a part of a generation where it was, like, kind of a new thing. Um... And I'm really glad that I did it because uh, some of my best friends today I met on the internet. So have fun at the Hoodlum Hangout. I will likely be streaming tomorrow, um, but it will be in the evening most certainly, I think, unless it changes and then I just, you know, we'll just roll with it. Um, but I am planning on streaming, so I hope to see you all there. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your weekend. What a way to start the new year, guys. Dwarf Fortress could not kill us. The streak continues. It's the greatest streak in gaming. And you guys get to watch it here live every day. All right. Take care, everybody. I will see you all very, very soon. Remember to stay hydrated, guys. And get the merch. OKGamer.net. And then you never have to worry about staying hydrated again. Ah.